Yes. Exactly. Spam a lot. Seven Jamie, seven, seven brides. brides. Yeah. Agree. 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 See, Kathy I, I likes my like fair lady. Agree. 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 I loved Phantom of the Opera. I saw that. Um, I saw that. Well, not technically on Broadway, but down in Chicago. That's I loved it. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. well, was the oh, Broadway play? They brought it to Chicago, so it was. Oh my it, gosh, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, that was a good one. But then my favorite the musical, though, like movie musical, is um, Greatest Showman. I can turn it's Greatest Showman on and turn that up in my car and sing every. Every song, every <laughs> it's very good. Oh, I, I love it. it. Really good. Oh, I the greatest showman. Oh, yeah. That's the um, with the, the Wolverine, right? Yeah, Jack Jackman, uh, Hugh Jackman <laughs> is the, is the ring. Yeah, leader. Zach Efron. Yep. Is in it. They did it I where gotta, they I gotta see if I can watch that free. Oh, it was so I, I loved it. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I went to the movie theater with my best friend. Then I went back and it went with another friend. And then we I went back alone for the sing-along where they actually let, like they put the bouncing ball and the words on the screen and everybody in the audience could sing with the movie. Oh my gosh, we, I was, I was And so it fun. has one of my whole you to it Michelle so that they did it four times. It. I love Michelle Williams. Um, She's such um, a good actress. I, yeah, I don't know like Halloween without Denise. seeing them on our picture show and singing along. That's fun. Yeah, well, I greatest showman. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Denise can be can be in the middle of the island. She she doesn't like it the musicals. Any, any place or it's going to be guest services. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> Denise, can you refill our cocktails? <laughs> yeah. Marcy, I want to see Wicked. I haven't seen that one yet. Wicked is a must see. A must. I haven't seen it yet. It's terrific. See, homeschool Lou agrees. The movie musicals would be Greatest Showman, or Fa oh, Phantom of the Opera with Gerard Butler. I saw that one too. That was really good. I loved Phantom of the Opera. I think if you can walk away from a musical and continue to love the tunes and sing them, it's touched you. Yeah, I will never sing anything from Kiss Me Kate. <laughs> I think one of them is like, you know, was one of the songs was like about a town in Italy called, you know, Petonia. We've been to Petonia and Petonia will go back to I'm like everything is not a music They're like that to me. It's like I'm going to make a lot of people mad here country music i'm not a fan of it's like got in my truck and went over a raccoon Hit that's like just, that's old I country can't. that's not new country yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. new country everyone's getting drunk you should get drunk on a plane and drunk on a tractor yeah, and... yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't do my it. favorite my guy, i like I woke up on my, She's gonna get my drunk bed in my truck <laughs> okay. oh. you know what else Denise can give us the IVs. There you go. <laughs> Oxygen therapy, IV therapy. We'll find a place for her. You know, she doesn't like to be social. She doesn't like to watch anything on a screen, <laughs> or on a tablet. <sighs> Unless we have a little puppy village where she can play outside with puppies all day. Oh, well, yeah. we can do that. We have a kitty island. We can do that. Yes. There's got to be a cat island. I mean, there's one in Japan. We can have one on in our area too. Well, I have to give. Tracy Guess who's in charge? A big thanks because the reason why my hair is down is because after 14 attempts, I couldn't get it up in a pony. It just won't go. It just won't go. So we're gonna try again because I don't like this feeling of my hair down. Like it just is like weird. Especially like if I wear it down, I usually like to curl it and really make it like, you know, show that I'm from New Jersey or Staten Island. You know, that look. This is a little too straight on. Also, it shows so much of my gray. I like to curl, you know, pin curl it. So that's the that's 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 the thing. That's the thing. But I guess like the song I, I sing the most from all is from Cinderella, you know, like. 
I can be whatever I want to be. It's it's like the core of like my depression. I have only ever seen the Walt Disney movie. I have never seen Cinderella Leslie, as a musical. Leslie Ann Warren? Me either. No. Oh. Never seen Cinderella as a musical. Okay, just I the own, songs that are in the Disney. I own no. Does anybody has anybody ever seen Cinderella other than Walt Disney? Tell no. me in the chat. Leslie oh. Ann Warren and the guy from General Hospital. I can't think of his name. The lead star from General Hospital all those years. He's the guy. He's the prince. All right, Sue. So your your homework will be. Greatest showman. My homework will be kiss me, Kate. <laughs> but I, you got to make sure I can get it for free because I'm not paying. Can we send her a, cop, a copy of our disc? I think I have three copies. If I have the three copies, maybe I can just send her one. I have several copies. I'll look and see if I have an extra one I can send you. <laughs> Denise, I am not surprised you have not seen it. <laughs> Greatest show. Oh, I loved it. I don't normally go oh, to a movie theater for a movie more than once. Yeah. I went five times for that one. Wow. Yeah. It's too expensive to go to movie theaters. And what did I do? Five times I went to Greatest Showman. Oh, look, Doug. Doug just declared war on you, Sue. Ooh. <laughs> well, D Doug, I have to ask, though. Have you seen the Leslie Ann Warren? Because you can't, you can't rule it out if you haven't seen it. Oh, I, I think Doug can. No, Doug cannot. I think, I think he Doug. has special I powers. <laughs> Doug has I can't special even powers. Friday, last Friday. That's it. Kathy Wiseman, Greatest Showman is on YouTube? Or the Ch Cinderella one is on YouTube? Or Victor Victoria is on YouTube. Yeah, which one are we talking about when you say it's? Huh? Yeah, but I don't want her to see the, the a trailer. I want her to see the, the whole thing. Hugh Jackman is hot in that movie. Okay, I got it. Oh, she says he didn't Cinderella notice that. is available on YouTube. Okay. 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 It's good. All right. Now, Angie. Yes. Ringmasters have been known to wear tights. Am I going to see that? You know, no. no, they're black pants. Thank God. Okay. I'm in. Oh, no. There is some of the ladies in, in their beautiful, like, beautiful. Acrobat. Well, outfits. I think some of I think some of the guys in the background. Oh, are they? Are wearing tights. I wouldn't even notice. I was watching, I was singing. I was but no, Hugh Jackman was not in tights. Oh my gosh, I couldn't stand that. That'd be awful. New Jersey tongue. I found my forever soulmate, and you can't take him away from me. The Doug and I are 99.9 percent .9 of things, and that's enough. That's enough for eternity. <laughs> and remember, on our side of the island, we're not sick. We're not disabled. We're going to have some antics. Talk about leapfrog. It's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Of course, Doug will always be the frog. I mean, I'm not going to be the frog. Let's get things started. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I, well, I have to say though, Angie, I have to ask this question. Yes. In general, do you like, did you like in life going to the circus? Cause I hate the circus. Okay. So you don't have to like the circus to like the no. movie. And all the, no, the movie. Yes. It's based around a circus. Okay. It's P.T. Barnum. It's P.T. Barnum story. Mm -hmm. Okay. But because I, I don't like a circus. It now, you he like started with the, the freak, show no. okay. first. so that was the worst hardest part of being a mother okay was having to take my kid to things i hated like the circus and like things like disney on ice you know what's worse than disney on ice nothing yeah, <laughs> yeah i agree i had a i went hi, to disney apple. On ice hi, leanne. nothing's worse hey, apple, leanne. hi leanne hi apple Apple, did you feel okay, it in your So room? in the movie, though, the animals are, what do they call that? Gen generated? CG Yeah, something? generated. Yeah. Yeah, so they're not real. But they don't have, they only have animals at the end, right? Yeah. I mean, during the whole movie, they don't show it because it's all about um, P.T. Barnum 
trying to build this circus and losing his way and all right you know well, hitting... I have to ask for Doug are there clowns in the movie no no okay Doug we can watch no. it then no clowns yeah no but there's but, like know, but there's the acrobats and the strong man the bearded and the lady man the bearded lady well, I, I'm getting to be yeah. the mustache lady I hate this I didn't get and you know, little Tom Tom, the little Tom's the little guy. She's got the full. She's Don't got the do my few. close up because thank God it's blonde. Why? <laughs> Why does this have to happen with old age? Why do we have to get mustaches? Got to shave before. Well, I the see link the that's in the chat. What? What does that go that's, to? That's the. What is that, honey? Greatest showman. Right, but is that the movie, the trailer, yeah, the? the movie. It's the movie. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, in. I I'm guess the movie. Talk. I guess two hours, eighteen minutes. Yeah, that'd have to be the movie then. That's available on YouTube. Oh, Marcy, no. I can totally understand you wouldn't want to do that. But Steve, no, it's um, Steve, I just love the music. Steve, don't aggravate me. Click on it. It says buy or rent. You know what buy or rent? Okay. There you go. Money. Money. That two point eighteen is two what minutes is and eighteen seconds. Oh, this, this is just. Incredible. That is the trailer. <laughs> Steve, we go, honey. We go. Yeah, you know it's, I mean? it's too cheap to send me a free gift. Steve, spend the dollar fifty and put it in an envelope and send it to me. <laughs> no, I so the original. I, 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 I want to have a cover. You watch the you watch the Greatest Showman, and then she can come back and yell at me instead of Trisha and say that was awful too. I know, but it's so fun to yell at Trisha. It's like I wait for Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha, that means she loves you. Just so you I know. Do. I do, I do. <laughs> and I said I was getting scared that we were getting too similar with all of our like, yeah. And, like and Kathy, it is on Disney Plus. Yes. No, I don't have that. Yes, it is on Disney Plus. I'll I'll okay. cover. I'll 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 figure something out for Sue. I have her, I know how to find her. I can get stuff to her. <laughs> Yeah, I I loved Greatest Showman. Now now you can go watch it soon. You can be like, you like that? Yeah, I loved that I'll one. Give, that I'll was give you good. My opinion. I like a lot of things, but when I don't like it, I don't like. It. But there's only one movie ever that I really didn't like that I became a lover of. Really? And it's because I had to see it a couple of times, and that was Napoleon Dynamite. I didn't get any of the. Oh genres. yeah. yeah. I Never did not understand it. it. I didn't think it was funny. It's like I didn't a... get any of the jokes. But by two and three, I think it's one of the most hilarious things ever written. Yeah, it's like a it's like a dry humor joke. type of thing. It's hilarious. Yeah, so. You gotta get the joke. If you don't know the joke, it's stupid. But once you get the joke, then it's really funny. Gotcha. All right, guys. Well, we are going to start the sale so that at the end we can have um, time to do some more chit chat and get done with all the the goodies that go on Friday nights. Um, I will uh, interrupt as I see fit. Oh yes, and and if do you want to address the earthquake? <laughs> Oh yes, um, welcome to New Jersey. We had a, a, a an earthquake today. Now Trisha doesn't think it was like quite talk about because it didn't hit like you know, the high number on the Richter scale, but it was very significant for New Jersey to have one. And it 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 it, it, it passed through Apple, felt it in her, you know, like New York, my daughter. I think it went as far as Connecticut, and you felt it in your loins, like you felt like your house was coming down. I fortunately slept through it. And have no, no, no upsets. But someone just texted me that we're having after. What do they call them? After traumas, right after now. Shots. Yeah, aftershocks are happening now. I still don't feel it. I don't know. I haven't felt anything all day. I don't know I if it was here. And May, I mean, we were it's, close, but it's all right. It's all right. I, I saw. I I saw cameras in coffee shops where it went like, and then that was it. It was like two seconds. And well, then, I'm very disappointed that you and your relationship with your weatherman didn't give us a heads up because I know, <laughs> you know, what's happening over there. Oh, no, well, I have I have had no time for Ryan Hall. I, I have been too busy. Everybody just has to be in charge of their own weather right now. <laughs> All right. She's not helping. 
but we are going to get started and we are going to start with Aaron. All right. So I'm going to start this off at $5. And we have here a 1914 Detroit Automotive automotive automobile advertisement you see on the back it says it 1914 it's what automotive advertisement and it says on here spring those rare spring days are about here The days when all natural nature summons you outdoors. Answer this call and Detroit Electric Car Company. And the car that gives you at once the stream of motoring luxurious luxury. And uh, utmost in uh, mechanical accuracy, the string, the 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 sale of the of the excellence of the Detroit electric car from every use, shopping, social engagement, city and country drives explains why we are the largest electric pleasure car builders in the world so there was electric cars before there was electric cars i yes. guess so i didn't know that yeah that's, that's what the, kind of got me like too i didn't like the tone of the way you said yes he's <laughs> you see the lovely ladies like, yes. getting in the it's car cheap. It's a cheap. yes yes <laughs> i didn't know it so you learned something on our show. And Aaron, I guess the, the ladies' legs are the things that are going to sell the picture, right? Because that's what it's mostly about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The fancy hats. Yep. Legs sell. Hi, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. Or Joanne. Hello. Hi, Joanne. Oh, my goodness. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, hey, I just put the link in for Aaron's channel. Check and make sure you are still subscribed to Aaron. And that is a really cool old ad. Is that from a newspaper? Can you tell? Or is that just black and white magazine? Oh, it's probably from a newspaper. Oh, Let you're allowed see. to ask the newspaper question, but when I ask the newspaper question, it's a problem. <laughs> what newspaper <laughs> question did you ask? When you were showing the productions that one yeah, night. I think so, it's newspaper. Said, Are they printed on newspaper? And you snarked at me and you said, yes, so they're newspaper reproductions. They're on newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Italian. <laughs> well, they looked like newspapers. They didn't. They were newspaper reproductions. So, yeah, kind of was a logical assumption that they were newspaper. <sighs> <laughs> Aaron, are they a newspaper? She thinks she thinks because her hair is down. I know. I'm smart here. <laughs> Snark She's snarkier. Snarkier. <laughs> snarkier. Red locks of hair. Yes, it was real newspaper, Doug. So that yeah. one confirmed newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Denise, don't. Be All scared. right. Well, I don't see any tape. This is matted. This is ready to be framed. How cool yes. is that? Especially yes, if yes. you have an electric car. Hey pretty cool to have an old old time electric car ad yes by show of hands do any of you friends have an electric car we don't no trisha's still peddling like Flintstone. 
<laughs> One day whatever, I might. Whatever gets her there, I support. I don't. I don't go on long trips anywhere. So I know. Yeah. I just got a new used car, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago now? All right. Well, we are going to pass on this. All oh, right. Sarah Lee Sundas. Nice. Then I'm going to get the link to Angie's channel and put that in the chat. And uh, everybody take a sec and make sure that you are uh, subscribed. Yeah, but you have one at your house. <laughs> you, yeah, you keep going. Keep going. Too. Find the free ones to plug in. We don't have an electric car. We just no. bought a gecko bright green Jeep, and I put my Angie, my purple logos. Angie's out of these purple logos on the sides, and then I bought big purple to the tow hooks on the front. I put purple tow hooks on the front, so it's purple and green. Well, let us wow. know. Everybody in town knows it's me. Let us know when you get your first rubber ducking. I did. Man. I did. I was so surprised. We went in, We went on a date, and we got out of our date. We, we were going to the car, and somebody had put a little ducky in the handle of the car. No, and I was hey. like, what is this? Why is there it's a duck in my car? And it's we looked it up. on. Yes, it was so cool. So, yes, I've been ducked, and it's on my dashboard of my car. It's a little, awesome. it's like a little purplish red kitty cat type duck. It was very oh. cute. All right. All right. And yes, everybody who doesn't know me, I'm Angie from Angie's Oddities. Um, and thanks for um, inviting me tonight. Give Trisha a thumbs up because we love her and she's so wonderful. We enjoy this and all that good stuff. Okay. Did you hear that? I'm going to start. Did huh? you hear that? What? Asking Sue, asking Sue if she heard that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even okay. Give myself so a I'm up, but I'm gonna start. Hi, Mary. Well, I I'm excited because hey, I am now 46 subscribers away from 500. Yes. I can't believe that. I'm working on it. All right. So this is gonna start at two dollars, but there's choice. Two dollars choice. I have another one of these football penalty spotters. So if you're a football fan. And you, you see what the, the referee, what movement he makes. And then you for like people like me who don't watch football but want to like act like I know what I'm talking about, um, you turn the wheel and it'll tell you. So like offsides penalty and then safety, defense awarded two points. This is a 1969 regular season schedule, which – I don't know if anybody wants the schedule, but I think the front is awesome. It's also an advertising for Duracell batteries if you're a big Duracell battery person. Um, well, illegal. Yeah, maybe if you have an electric car, you may need them. Okay, mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. choice for $2 are these vintage decals. They're the type that you put in water and then you, oh, you, you put them on with water and they slide on. There is these vintage, these are brand new and packaged um, butterflies and then there's these bluebirds and then there's these really like 70s i guess like they've got like a gold tint to them butterflies so this set here for two dollars or this one for two dollars so yeah easy to pl apply these are um meyer cord decals they are very easy to apply. You just cut it out. You put it on the surface. You wet it down. You pull it off. Hi, Linda. Linda's in for two. Okay. Hey, Linda. Anybody else want to get in? <laughs> Linda's like butterflies. Okay. Well, we haven't counted it down yet, but I got gotcha. you. Yeah. All right. Anybody else kind of? <laughs> Anybody else want to get in? All right, Chisha, you can count it down. All Unless right. anybody else wants to going get in. Once, going twice. And sold to Linda. Linda, can I guess? You want the Linda. Congratulations, Linda. I'll put these off to the side for you. And they'll just go into a, 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 a yeah, one of those middle envelopes. I'll put some cardboard between it. So they'll get there. Okay. How many are you supposed to do? One? One. Okay, good. I'm done.
And and if anybody else wants to claim any of those other items, just let us know at any point throughout the sale. Just pop in because we do not do speed rounds on Friday nights. So there will be no recap. But if you want to claim anything that we have passed on, just let us know in the chat. And I've got a $5 start on a coloring oh, book. Oh, cool. It is a human anatomy coloring book. Just what every kid wants for Christmas. You know who wants that? Denise. <laughs> and look at look at the different ways you can color that. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. I like it. I think that's neat. As soon as the speed <laughs> round. That's true. All their body parts. They don't have tights on. Oh. Jeez. Uh, it came out in 1982. And, oh, we've got Denise in first. So it tells you where you can find all of the body parts. On my end, it's Kathy in first. Well, it goes by what's on my end. All right, timestamp queen. That's okay. Kathy's have, in for six already. Stamps. Well, I guess I kind of do but... have timestamps, but yeah, it, okay, it's always what, what is on my what's on my screen. So there's the skull, and oh, look at that! You get numbers, and it tells you. Oh, it tells you color suggestions to color it in. I just that for my job. I'm going to tell you, I love Kathy Wiseman, but I really hope Denise wins this for this reason only. I would like to see what color she she colors this crap in. Look, really <laughs> Look at the hands. Sister, a good insight into her crazy mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> and thank Look you, Kathy, at those hands. Coming. Thank you, Kathy. You got to color it and come back and show us oh. what you mean. Yeah, that it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Oh, and it's a close up crazy. of the eye. I know. All right. Anybody have a particular body part? <laughs> Keep it clean. Go <laughs> say he's over here rolling. He's yeah. like, oh boy. How about the respiratory system? There we go. Look at those lungs. Got a nice pair of lungs. Pituitary, yeah. Pituitary. Oh, I don't even know what a pituitary is. <laughs> Let me see if it's. No, nope, we got pulmonary, pulmonary. spinal, digestive, oh, mm. kidneys. No, nope. no, nope, I don't think it's in here. Sorry, Denise. Denise, we're not going to let you read the pituitary section. You just got to have to create your own page. Okay, I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh, you're right. Not interpret. <laughs> Al alveoli. Not nothing, so it's like. Look at oh, that nipple. Look at that. It's a nipple. <laughs> no, they're like. What are they? In the I gotta go to Nurse Denise. What's an alveoli? It's not a ravioli. <laughs> The three lobes yeah. on the right lung and the two are on the oh. left lung. I had no idea. No idea. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. And this awesome coloring book. <laughs> oh, there's your stomach. Yep. <laughs> that's a non gastric bypass stomach. Well, for true. Our bypass. They're so going once. The new edition of this book has it post and before and after. <laughs> going twice. You have that served with pesto? All right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where you find this crap. It's like we're getting <laughs> it. Like seeing that on yeah. somebody's like garage sale table, like what draws you to that? Like Mine. Mine. I didn't I didn't lick it like Apple does, but it's mine. 
Thank you, Denise. Um, Thank you, Kathy. All right. And we are going back to Aaron. Jamie has all right. Jamie will be in the new edition. So now I have, according to this, this is Hopper Weekly, April 22nd, 1876. And this is of a uh, ad of transporting trees. Centennial uh, views for uh, by, from sketch by Theodore Davis. Cool. Theo Davis. And this is going to be for $5. Oh, Look at the beautiful. Right. So you see they had the tree in this uh, mm -hmm. cart, wooden cart yeah, thing. It's, it's taking it with its root sac so that it could be just totally replanted as opposed to a chopped down tree. Mm -hmm. Very yes. nice. Wet. You're okay. Good boy. And then you see it's uh, frame, already framed for you. That's cool. I love her dress. It's beautiful. Welcome in, Derek. Hey, Derek. Thanks, Jan. <laughs> well that is that's a really cool creative picture to to see how yeah. how did they do things back in the day before they had big equipment to move stuff around yeah <laughs> doug not doug hi not doug <laughs> Not Doug, did you make sure you're still subscribed to Aaron? <laughs> yes. Now, does that happen to say anything about it being an engraving or anything? You're terrible. No. Hmm. And it's, it's a, so this is like, this is out of magazine too. It is a C page 331 or maybe out of a book. Oh, cool. Thanks, Doug. Knock, Doug. Steve, I think you're a little too focused on the tights. Are you wearing tights? <laughs> no, but you know what he... Oh, I, can I tell him? No, I better not tell him. Uh, I got he did this morning. What did he do this morning, Angie? Nobody's listening. I was getting in my Jeep, and he and came outside, and he was still in his boxer shorts. Striped or solid? No, I think they were solid. Not but good. I was like, white or colored? What are you doing? <laughs> colored. Blue, dark they brown. were dark blue. So somebody could have mistaken them for shorts. But still, I'm like, get butt your butt back in the house. I don't want something to fall out that's not supposed to fall out. <laughs> An earthquake could what happen. Are you doing going out at any time? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the heck was so important that he had to come out in his panties. Yeah, what did you come out for? All right. Well, we are going to pass on house. that. <laughs> All right. We are going to go back to Angie. Oh, you've got to sit down. You've got to sit down. Okay, my next one is this. I think it's 1977. No, you may not. Look at this, please. Um, was it 1977 or did I say 1980? <laughs> 1985. Okay. This is a 1985 Encyclopedia of Movie Stars. That's cool. And it's starting at $5. Yeah, it's copyrighted 1985 by Gallery Book. I don't, well, I recognize this one. Who's on page I don't recognize 15. most page of 15, all. Page 15, please. Page 15. Page 15. Okay. Well, I wanted to see who, who she was pointing at. Try to stare. All right, you got to go back. Try to stare at Ginger Roberts. Okay. Go back for the boss. So the one that I said I knew was this one. Isn't that Burt Reynolds? Yes. Yes, it is. 
It's Burt Reynolds. Oh. That's like the only one I recognize. Yes, that, that is, is Burt Reynolds. Oh, okay. See, you got to keep up with us. Okay, what other page? Give me a page number. 65. 65. It's going to be Kiss Me Kate. <laughs> I get to see the guys in their tights. <laughs> okay, I have no clue who this is. You know, I don't know who it is, but I'm going to tell you what it makes me. What's think it of. say on the other side? From the movie um, Puss in Boots, it is. Yeah, Douglas Fairbanks. Doug, I was gonna, yeah, I was thinking mm -hmm. yeah, Douglas Fairbanks. Not now, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. People probably know a little more, but not not mm -hmm. the father, Douglas Fairbanks. Is is Bob Fosse in there? Take a look and see. Is oh, there an okay. index? There must be an index in the back or something. In the back? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Jen. No, there's not. But it, they're all alphabetized, aren't they? Oh. oh. Rocky's in here. Nice big picture, Rocky. So it's F O S. Yes. F O S S E. Okay, we'll go to F's. Probably not a big index. He's more of a Broadway choreographer than a movie star but I'm you trying, never know I'm trying, I'm trying i'm trying but that was everybody who nope. was everybody nope. as of nope. 1985 nope, nope. Just but a lot of uh henry well, page Fonda's, 33 page 33 okay the bob fossey was a jazz dancer and the movie um all mm. that jazz it has um, Rob Schneider plays Bob Fosse. And there he is, my father's boss, Marlon Brando, but not from On the Waterfront. I forget what movie that's from. Oh, you! This is just loaded with cool pictures and different actors. It's a hundred, no, 256 pages open. Six, you know, Marilyn Monroe, some pictures of her. I don't know who that is. James Mason, Shirley MacLaine. James Mason did the um, uh, oh Julie Judy Garland. Um, how to pronounce that one? Why am I? I, I can't it. remember the name of the it. movie. I gotta, I gotta give it to me a second. It's um <laughs> the one with Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm singing the way we were, and it's not there. We no. Were. Frank Sinatra? No. Lady Gaga? No, the movie with Lady Gaga. Oh, I have no clue. A Star, a star oh, is Born. Star is Born. There it is. Thank you. Ah, I was drawing a blank. Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff as Frankenstein. So there's a whole bunch of... Who's that clean face? Justin fella? Hoffman. I don't know who that yeah, is. Yeah, Tootsie. There's a lot of these I don't know. Dustin Hoffman but... and Tootsie. Oh, Gene Harlow. Gene Harlow. So if you um if you are interested in old movies, there is this is just 250 pages of movie stars, their history, when they were in movies, um, their their bio biography, all of that, all in here. Five dollars. It does have the dust jacket. Yeah, Boris what, and Bella. Just a blue cover without it. You say that like I'm back, saying. No, there is language. this rip here. There is a rip here on the back, but you've got Harrison Ford on the back. Yeah, Claude Rains was the invisible man. There's the Rocky picture. So there's plenty of black and whites and colors. Colored Ooh, pictures. Liz Taylor. Liz Taylor. Claude Rains. Is that who you're looking for? Okay, go to ours. R, R, R. Okay. Yep. Claude Rains is in here. Cool. Very cool. cool. And Basil so, Rathbone. $5. Sherlock Anybody Holmes. Anybody interested? Sherlock Holmes. He wouldn't. Yeah, is he, that was, a, he was. Yeah, he was just on the same character. page as Claude Rains. Oh, Basil Rathbone. Okay. Oh, okay. Angie, I thought you said he dyed your hair purple. It's red, like mine. No, it is not. So when the purple comes out of it, because I normally have like brown hair, it turns it red. It's pretty. 
So it's red for now, and then it'll finally grow out, and it'll get dark like this because my natural hair is a dark, you can see the line, dark brown. So it goes from purple to red to like a chestnut brown, and then I color it all over again. Fun. <laughs> How much Any tapers off? for the book? This is an awesome book. Yeah, it's any, really nice. Like I said, the only papers. flaw is here. The only flaw is here, but all the pages are crisp. It's in good shape. It's 250 pages. The fun Hello, thing with books like Hello. that is, is that Same. you look through them and you go, oh, I remember oh, that. I yeah, remember that. Exactly. Oh, things you totally forget. Hi, Lucinda. Hi, Lucinda. All right. Well, if nobody's interested, we'll take a pass. But if somebody's All interested right. later, five All bucks. Right. All right. Thanks, pass. guys. That's an awesome book. It is. It's a really awesome book. And it oh, can be shipped media right. mail. I have got a $3 start on a pair of unopened cards. <laughs> They're not white. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Oh, I don't <laughs> know. Because it's unopened. No, I think that is the design oh, on them. Cool which is a really pretty peacock feather. And I know people have playing cards. You don't necessarily need a new deck of playing cards. However, these could be really cool to craft with. And so I believe that is what is inside here, but it is still sealed in plastic. So I'm not 100% sure. But I really liked the design and thought that would be really beautiful to use as a deck of cards or just um, use for crafting purposes. You know what I look forward to doing with you on the island? Playing a hand of 500 rummy and beating your butt. I don't know <laughs> what 500 rummy is. I'll teach you. Why does it have to be 500? That's such a big number. Not when you're playing with two people. It goes fast, like an hour. Some people say it the other way. They either say rummy 500. Some people say 500 rummy. But it's still the same point. You got to get to 500. Okay. You have to count? I got to find something to do with you. Something. <laughs> with, three, with three decks of cards? You're going to bring the cards. You're going to bring the cards, and I'm going to teach you. The cards. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lucinda. There's the story is that I can't get my hair to stay in a ponytail tonight. Just won't do it. <laughs> you need to teach Tom how to do that so he can come and help. Yeah, let me add it to his list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he could do that when he picks up the garbage. That's common, Trisha, because you know, freaking Tony ate a baby wipe. Oh, mm. no. So Tom took the dog for a poo-poo walk. The dog poo-pooed and was struggling. And then Tom saw something white sticking out of his bucket. And he pulled and he pulled and he pulled. And, he pulled. and out came a baby wipe. We don't have a baby in the house. So it was one of mine. So Tom said, you got to try and kill my dog. <laughs> the answer to this situation is as follows. We are buying a new trash can for the bathroom. Oh, no. That has a lid. With a lid? Yeah. But I said to Tom, why didn't you bring it home so I could see? He goes, because it was full of poop. <laughs> I was like, but how do you know it was a, how did you know it was, how did you know it was a baby wipe? He goes, I know what a baby wipe looks like. Poor Tony. It looks like a magician that's pulling out the colored uh, poor, poor Tony. out of his pocket. This thing is coming out of poor Tony's butt. <laughs> All right. We are passing on the playing cards. Don't tell Jolita. We almost killed the dog again. <laughs> All right. So I have eight wedding cards for five dollars starting off so we have it's a big wide wonderful world this may not be a wedding card but it's cute but it's a happy birthday card 
with your birthday, and it's a it's big card. It's five cards. Snark two, Doug. Snark. It's however many cards. It's all right. They don't have to be wedding cards. Yeah. It's all right, Aaron. I Both of them, these are all five. These are wedding cards right here, though. A wedding prayer. God bless you, home. Your home. This is Hallmark. Then we have. Oh, I like God that. God bless the, you the, both. Uh, the veil. That's cool. The veil. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Those would be great for scrapbooking. You're going to do like a wedding layout. Do you scrapbook, yeah. Angie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we had the two yeah, oh, One yeah. of my, one of my money, favorite things to do. We're going to fail. In the can in the yard. Congratulations on your <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Who loves me? Uh huh. <laughs> wedding wishes for today, tomorrow, and always. Love the, the lovely wedding bells with the pink roses. The next one coming up is my favorite. Then you have. Oh, a keyhole. Yeah. Wedding oh, congratulations. For both of us. But she married you see her the, That's not right. No, that's not right. You, you see him in like in a mirror type of thing. Yeah, that can't happen. Flowers. You open it up. And? And there they are again in full. And now you're in the picture. Picture. Because I see you in the hole. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you're a guest at the wedding now. <laughs> And these were a lot of these are from uh Norcross. They're a big competitor to Hallmark, right? I think at the time, sure. Mm -hmm. On your wedding day. Something old, something new. Something borrowed, something beautiful colors here. I mean this is American greetings. You know what, Lucinda? If you need to snark, snark away. And last but not least. Oh, that's pretty with the pink roses. Pink roses for a, a prayer for your happy marriage. Let me ask you this. Is this improper? If you bought this lot and then you had to go to five weddings, you just crossed out the other people's names. <laughs> as long as you put yeah, I wouldn't do that. In, as long as you're putting cash in, does it really matter? Like, so one. Are they really reading the card enough exactly. to even notice that? Two. Wait, can we recycle these up other than you know scrapbooking? You know, you gotta go to five weddings. Hey. Three. There you Let's go. Like this one. Sue's putting in enough cash. Four. They're not gonna care. I won't put cash anymore. What is the card again? Happens. Five. You won't put cash in? I won't Six. ever put cash in an envelope at a party again. Because Seven. one accused of having an envelope empty and not giving anything. Eight. And it turns out that that restaurant had a little bit of a history of some pickpocket waiters. No what? way. They didn't do the whole lot. You know, like, you know, like the, the, the box that you put, you know, like your thing in. Yeah. yeah. They got yeah. in it. They got, <gasps> they got in it and they, didn't get a lot, but they got mine. So it looked like I gave no gift, but it was a cash. Checks only now. Need that receipt. Wow. I a lot of shenanigans. Oh, See, shenanigans. Nick says white, white out, right Still over it. Out. There you go. Put some stickers on it. it. There you go. It looked like it was part of the design the whole so I'll, time. So I'll ask him because you're probably the most recently married. You're, you're, you're such a still a young lady. Did you save your wedding cards or are they were they trashed? Well, I don't see any takers. Did you guys see any takers that I missed? Nah. No. All right. So we will pass on those, but keep those in mind. Those are lovely for crafting with or recycling yeah. and reusing. I, I, would, I mean, those would be yes. great to craft with if you're doing a wedding. Okay. This is not open. So I'm going to show you the picture of it, but I'm not going to open it because it is sealed. This would be perfect for a Mother's Day card or whatever. Um, 
it is called scarlet something or other but what it is is you take you amaryllis have the, thank you you have the two in the from so you write your name on it and who gets it will open it up and it unfolds to make a pop-up a beautiful pop-up card that's different so, yeah, so this is going to start at that four. come back into fashion again. I see that now being very much a, 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 an item that is being marketed as like the three D pop up cards. Pop yeah, yeah. yeah. Like opening up the box and like things fly out like butterflies and stuff. Like that would be creepy, but you know, not real what? butterflies. It's a sixteen inches tall oh, pop up card with no card included. My baby's gonna have her first Mother's Day. Yeah, I didn't even think of that till just now. Oh gosh, just wait yeah. till it's her first Christmas. Don't tell Sue yet. <laughs> the babies will be she spoiled. Can't, she can't take it. So Tom, um, there is Tom a little note is, card in there. Tom bought the only presents that are going tomorrow. I ordered the Italian food that's going, but Tom bought two little peeps that when squeezed peep and two little chickens oh good little grandpa so it says a hundred percent recyclable these flowers oh, yes forever. sorry sorry what was the start price oh four dollars four dollars start price it is brand new all right got a 50 50 answer from kim some she did and some she didn't the people that crossed yeah. off their names and and wrote in other names on them, she she decided not to keep those cards because <laughs> they they had been. Reused. There you go. See, and my mom takes all of her cards. Like she'll keep the ones that are really important. The rest of them, she will cut up and make different cards with them. Yeah, I have so every she will. Tom ever gave me. Yeah, I think and I've Tom, got every card you've ever given me. And Tom gives me on the holiday a card from himself, a card from the cat, a card from the dog, and a card from the turtle. So I get four. My father-in-law does that. <laughs> My father-in-law, he gives me a, what was it, a Christmas card? He must have chased the cats around the house with scotch tape because he, he got scotch tape. You know, he got the hair of the cat and then taped it to the card and then wrote their name above it. So yeah. I'm thinking an 86-year-old man trying to go through the house, trying to chase these cats or get to these cats so that he can tape them so he can add it to a Christmas card. I thought it was so funny. So but I'm cheating. Yeah, just write their names in it. I'm not paying for cards. So I'll print out something on my computer. So the, the very you last one I'm done after this one, I, I, before we had the dog, we only had the turtle and we had the, the cat. And I sent Tom a card for Father's Day or something. And I said, with all of our love, Lexi, Dexy, and Sexy. <laughs> That's and perfect. Tom Did said, he know which was which? He had no <laughs> idea who Sexy was. He knew Lexi was the, Lexington is our, is our, and Dexter is, but he had no idea who, I was like, you really don't know who Sexy is? And yeah. she left hard for life. For life. No, I was gonna say you'd be in trouble. <laughs> um, so it does show on here that you can put four postage stamps. You just take this sleeve, this cardboard sleeve off. It's already sealed. You put the port postage stamps on, address it, and you can send it right out like this. So if oh, you really? To send it, you, you can. Yep, to, you send it right in the envelope. Oh, that's cool. Is that? But you think four postage stamps in today's world? Oh, yeah, because it's forever. Well, because yeah, this yeah. is. I don't think this is that old. I don't think this is vintage. But Forever Stamp should cover it anyway, right? Yeah, Forever oh, Stamp no. should cover it anyways. Yeah. But it says you put the four four stamps there. Well, you can always weigh it and then go to US. Well, I would open it up anyway it would... because it's got that little gift card inside so you can sign your name to it. That's cool. So I would just retape this. But it is sealed. It hasn't been open. $4 for this pretty pop-up flower card. I don't know what kind of flowers these Hi, are. Becky. So whatever she said. Hey, Becky. Hi, All Becky. Right. So we are going to pass on that. But just right. a reminder, everything we pass on um, is available at any time during the sale. Um, and we will not be doing a speed round. Um, all right. I have a really cool uh, picture. It does have a little damage on the cardboard, but the picture itself is fine. 
This is going to start at $3. And if you like indoor palm trees, <laughs> this, is, this, is the, this is the house for you. The staircase is unbelievable. Yeah. You know, it could even be in a cruise ship, not in a home. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, some fancy hotels, some fancy cruise ship. Yeah. yeah. It is about five by four inches is the picture. And we've got a bunch of little plants underneath. You got the big, little bigger palm, the bigger palm. Hi, Maria. Welcome in. The lovely Maria. staircase. Oh, got some little metal. That one looked like a little urn or something. Ashtray, I'm thinking. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, and then yeah. Got big palm. Well, I, know I would have put a cigarette out in it for sure. I probably got yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like an ashtray. It does. It looks like an ashtray. Smoking section at the bottom of the stairs, please, sir. Step to your left. Yep. Please do not ignite the palm trees when you light your cigar. Well, it's not <laughs> Sue's side of the island because I, I don't think there's going to be many stairs no, on Sue's side either. of the island. I don't I don't think no. she's a fan of stairs. No. In fact, we're not even a fan of walking. Everything's going to be like those things in the airport you just step on and take you. It will be like east, west, whatever way Doug and I want to go. Yeah, the moving sidewalks. Well, Doug, Doug's going to be back in about half an hour. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kathy. That's a cool yeah, it's a very cool interior shot. That where wherever this is at, the palm the palms love it. Mm hmm. That's true. You could just climb up the palm trees to the next level. True. <laughs> All right. Well, we will count that down for Kathy. I'll ask this question. How many of you have live plants in your home? And how many of you have um, silk flowers in your home? And how many of you have something else? fake trees, you know, plastic trees. I have succulents. I have the fake plastic succulents. Categories. I have silk. I have plastic. And sold to Kathy. Thank you. I have no plants. Um, yeah, I have nine sense. cats. So a lot. plant doesn't survive in my house. Fake or real. <laughs> All right. I have one tree. And so I have it. a cabinet card for five dollars. Aww. Aww. Little baby. And on the back here, it's kind of faded, so all I can really make out is Dorothy. <laughs> and <Let's> go. <laughs> she was born in October, it like eleventh, and then it's like it says like nineteen hundred, and she is six months old. Aww. Cute. Look at that baby. It's so cute. Kim is fancy. Oh. Have you ever seen Kim's dresser? Oh, she decorated it so beautifully. Little baby. <laughs> You're in. I, I wish we didn't have any plants. I don't like them in the house. They give you oxygen. They're good. Tom brought in a tree many years ago that lives in a bad place in my house, but just will not die. It will <laughs> not die. Well, Send it my way. I can kill any plants. Spot for it. Um, because it needs sun. So he has it blocking the, the, the doorway that goes to the deck. Oh, we the what deck, did this come you? from? Okay, we have a plant. Yeah. What did we make you, an onion? 
Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Where did this come from? The fruit uh, seller? Fruit seller. Oh, Steven. Wow. <laughs> Are you wearing your shorts? <laughs> no, he's got jeans on. <laughs> that would be a good stuffing if you had tights. Yeah. Uh, don't want to see my shorts? No, don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I like his shirt. His shirt's a, you want to show him your shirt? You want, want come show it. Sue your shirt. She'd like it. Come here. I love this little baby. This little baby looks like little Janice and her sister to me. That's what their faces look like. There you go. No. Oh, I, Don't bother me. I'm in my nothing box. Uh. Aww. So he, he, <laughs> he's like, uh, you know. Shirts with sayings, too. That's what he calls dressing up. Oh, she's so sweet, Aaron. This go here, tilt it. Yeah, that baby is sweet. One of the pictures of the twins, Rosie is given the side eye. It's hysterical. Another picture of her, she's given the finger. I'm like, this, uh, this one's going to be trouble. Happy Maker has cat safe plants. I don't think we could have a plant in here that would be safe from the kitties. We have plants that are safe from my cat, too. We'd be pulling stuff out of my cat's butt like she pulls them out of wet wipes on the dog. Rub it in. <laughs> no, I. if we had plants in this house, the cats would just eat them. They poop, and they God only knows what come out their butts. Poop. They will poop in the dirt. I, oh yeah, okay. I, I pass. I deal with enough poop already at not, with nine cats. So, hello, welcome in, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Sorry, you came in at the mention of cat poop, but. <laughs> well, see, I don't see any takers for All the right. picture, so we will pass on that. And we'll go to Angie. See, the problem with cat grass, though, is it gets about this big and my cats eat it. So I can't even get it to grow. All right, my next one. This is the from the editors of Us. It's an August 2011, originally $10, Will and Kate Wedding Magazine album. It's the complete photo album of their wedding. So if you like the whole Will and Kate thing, that's what their invitation look like. She's she's and what's now, your right? start price? Um, this is starting at four dollars. Okay. I but it shows all the... in the recent weeks that she's sick. Yeah, she's got cancer. She's and she's doing chemo right now. But the whole and it's in like like new condition. It's fabulous. It's in. The spine doesn't even have any cracks or creases in it. That's why I'm trying not to open it too much. But her dad lifting her veil. Aw. Um, the different outfits she's, you know, what people wore that day. Um, oh, I have heard that her mother. Theory, Denise, that, it's, that people think it's not her. I haven't heard that. It's always a theory. Aww. Diana and the boys. So this is the whole wedding album. Um, talks about the queen. So their life in Wales. All right. So yeah, four dollars. Oh, here it is. Here's the wedding picture. The official wedding picture. I don't want to open it too far because I don't want to crack this. Uh, this the spine, but there is no spine creases in it. It is an absolutely amazing condition. Well, happy early birthday, Lynn, and last birthday. And I hope it's last only because you don't want us to know the number for no other reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If nobody's interested, we will take a pass. But if you're interested, let me know. All right. One second and then i'll pull myself over okay All right uh let's see my next item is going to start at seven dollars now this is not going to apply to most people
but it just might apply to some people. If you like to draw and you'd like to get better at drawing, But if you like to draw vampires <laughs> and would like to hone your skill at drawing vampires, this is a wonderful book that gives you kind of step-by-step -step instructions. How to do the fangs. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it shows you how to draw the head, how to scale it. So not just for vampires. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite vampire? <laughs> like my favorite vampire, my favorite actor who's played a vampire. <laughs> favorite, well, however you need to answer, Trisha. I don't want to put too many restrictions <laughs> on your brain. <laughs> I'm going to go with Barnabas Collins of Dark Shadows. There, I got it out. Who's yours now, darling? Denise. <laughs> George down the road. Cool. George down the road. Cool. <laughs> and Rice. Bella Lugosi. <laughs> And Rice is vampire. Um, favorite vampire musical. <laughs> don't encourage him. <laughs> Stop. You're so goofy. You are so goofy. I'm in. I'm in with Steve. Well, I call. Like, <laughs> they haven't made it yet. They should. The closest one is what? Um, what's that called? Um, was it Johnny Depp? Wasn't Johnny Depp a vampire? And go with Blade. You know, DiCaprio. Blade. I always like Blade. Wesley Slates. Yeah. Wesley Snipes was a vampire? In, In Blade. Blade, yeah. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. think I saw that. Don't add it to my list. My list is getting too long. There were three of them. What was the, 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 the musical? Hall, uh... Oh, look at this rock. one. Like Halloween walk, rock or whatever. Oh, Rocky Horror Picture Show? Rock, uh, Rocky Horror, I think, yeah. Because it gives you really good step-by-step <laughs> instructions. And then, yeah. Well, what is your um, drawing skill on a scale of 1 to 10? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm maybe a one. one. Maybe a one. I really can't draw. I can't Mine's draw. Five. <laughs> when we play Pictionary, I'd like to have some help. I don't Ooh. know. What, I don't know what the dog can draw. Whenever we play um, charades, everybody always wants me on their team because of my interpreting. I can like. You know, and I always so at church when when everybody play when we get the girls together and we have we play games. That's yeah. always. Oh, you got to be on my team. And I'm just like, I'm lousy at this, but they all seem to think I'm good at it. I don't know. Did anybody else hear? Wah, wah. <laughs> no. Like, I'm not any good, but everybody wants no, they, me. And I don't know why. No, they, I'm really good at Pictionary, but they all want me for straights. I want to go play Pictionary. And they're all like, no, you got to play. And I'm like, oh. Oh, turn my mic down. Okay. Better. There are 600 castles in Wales. Oh, Sarah, let's go to Wales. That sounds awesome. But are they handicapped accessible? Probably not. No. No, probably zero. Janine, let me know if that's better. Yeah, I bet you they're not handicapped accessible. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see any takers. Now, remember, maybe not just your skills, but there may be somebody in your family that might be interested in drawing vampires. A lot of kids are interested in doing okay. um, cool. the art. From Thanks, like, um, 
what do you call it? anime that a lot of that reminded me of anime mm -hmm. all right so now i have two cabinet cards and i believe it is of a husband and a wife and this was taken in philadelphia pennsylvania and it has their last name but it's hard to make out So for five dollars, we're starting this off. And it was taken by Walker. Texas Ranger. <laughs> I never liked that actor, whatever his name was. Was it Chuck Norris? Yeah, I never enjoyed him. Well, he might not be a fan of the Sue Spezio show either. What? <laughs> Snark! Although we might be past his bedtime. so It's true. Right, Sarah Lee, I'm going to change mine to yours. That's true, Sarah Lee. Good one. Good one. Yes. Thomas, it's, it's hard to say no to a scars card. Oh, garbage time. <laughs> she just poor Sue. <laughs> Thomas does not understand that Sue is an internet sensation and exactly. it is not garbage time during the Sue Specio show. Yes. All right. Well, I don't see any takers for these pictures. So All right. we will pass. All righty. My next one is also another book. It is called Star Cats. It is the Feline Zodiac. So it goes through all the Zodiac um, horoscope symbols and tells you about the cats that um, associate with those. Um, it does have a dust jacket. The front cover is the same as the dust jacket. This is starting at $4. Do the kitty zodiac. Um, oh, there's no like year on this or anything. Oh, just starts out with the first one. So introduction. The pictures in here are so beautiful. I have a question, Angie. Did someone buy this for you as a gift because you're the cat lady, or or and then no. you guys really don't want it? No, this is one that I picked up from, picked up to show, to sell. Yeah. You looked at no. it, you're done. What what yeah. if you don't know when your cat was born? I don't know. I don't know. I always get okay. like I don't know, I always guess, but I love the pictures in here. That's why I bought it. I love the pictures. I'm gonna move my mic. See, there I thought Trisha it was gonna be what you'd be if you were a cat on that day. Like like oh, I'm there you go. Cat. I'm a little you're August. Like, like, what would the What's... Leo cat be? Fierce, ferocious, in charge, snarky. There you go. There's August. Aw. You see, I see a little ginger. Well, you read read, read, read what it says about August. Typical Leos are positive people, dignified and sunny natured. Their movements are cat-like with a head held proudly high. They are perfectionists, 
Only the best is good enough, and they will work hard to achieve it. They aim to be at the top, king of all they survey, and expect to be a leader and treated like royal royalty. Leos are honest, loyal, and trusting, and well, presume the same of yeah. others. <laughs> Being there born directors, their natural enthusiasm leads them into politics, teaching, or managerial occupations. Leos are among the foremost wild conservationists, conservationists especially for big cats. Their need for power to make them bossy and domineering. They should try to guard against vanity and intolerance. Leo's worst faults is that they assume they know best. They have great courage and strength in a crisis, often take risks, and works well under pressure. Leos have a good sense of dress and style and entertain friends generously. They love sport and exercising, recharging their energy with love, on which they depend on and without become depressed. Unhappy Leos can easily hurt, becoming arrogant or sulky. As long as they are love, as long as they are loved, they can cope. And it says Motley and Octopussy are true Leos. Extroverts, loving and playful. They are sisters, over generous with her love for humans, but is a jealous of other cats. She expects our love to be for her, and then she's happy. She warmly welcomes visitors and lovingly helps entertain them. So it's both. It's about you as a person looking up your sign. And then a picture of cats that they believe are that sign and a little yep. bit about them. Cool. Very cool. Yep. I just think the pictures in here are just mm -hmm. awesome. They are. The um, they are. I love this one. That's just so pretty with the blue. So, yeah, so you can look up your sign. You can look up another sign. Um they all have these beautiful pictures. So um, I just didn't see a copyright because I thought that would be in the front page, but it was. Oh, it's on the back page. Copyright 1998, first edition. And it says that this one was representative of uh, the, 19, the 1799 French astronomer. Dandelion and Landy's cat. So they all go through. Oh, and then here's the symbols. Like all the symbols that are shown on every page and like what they're what they mean. Pisces. Look at the fishies with the kitty. Aww. So how many of you of you read your horoscope? I mean, back in the day when I got a newspaper, I read my horoscope every day. I don't get a newspaper anymore, I don't do it anymore. But right. Any still horoscope checkers? No. Nope. No, it was it was never even close. So I went forget it. A little bit of damage down here on the on the front of the dust jacket. But even if you took the dust jacket off, mm -hmm. I mean it's the same book on the inside. All right. If nobody's interested, let me know later. We'll take a pass now. Pisces, you want to see Pisces? Okay, you gotta give me a. Well, here I can go through it. Well, you know, my twins are Pisces. What does their future hold in store? Okay, I will look up Pisces. Oh, that one's cute. I'm looking. Oh, Where's okay, Pisces? Up her horoscope every day. Pisces was the kitty cat I just showed, and it says, Pisces, the most psychic and spiritual of all signs, strongly attracted to mysticism and the unknown, and are highly receptive to atmosphere. They are true Samaritans and never refuse to help those in need. Compassionate and sensitive to others' feelings, they live and act in their, compassion, their companions' interests. To succeed, they must swim with the tide of life using their positive side. Escaping troubles or reality by transcending into a personal fantasy world can lead to failure. They need love, which vitalizes them. Without it, they have difficulty in coping with problems. Pisces loves acting, happily hiding behind others' characters, and finding peace in music and poetry. And then it talks about I'll angels. I'll get back to you and see how much of that is true. Yeah. Well, their, mama's an, their mom is an actor. Their mom's yes, an actor, their grandpa, or would it be yeah. their great grandpa's an actor? So that fits. That's fit. Now, this yes. is talking about the kitty. The next card says angel. 
has never quite forgotten her unfortunate experiences in kittenhood with teasing baby at her first home. Even now, after several years with us, she considers discipline a threat and in resistance may, may bite in pure self-defense. Um, she is very happy and docile when relaxed, but needs lots of love and attention, but only on her own terms. She will slide softly into your lap and smile as she, you stroke her silky warm fur, then suddenly nip when she's had enough. Left alone, she quickly calms down and gives a lick. She prefers company that she prefers company to being alone and spends ages playing with rough games with her friend Dandelion, the flower that was named in the Pisces a tribute. Angel is friendly and sociable and often waits in the garden for attention from passersby, which she usually gets. I love a so, calico. There you go. That is definitely my daughter. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, my vintage reads your horoscope every day. I definitely did. In the, in the, the years that we had a newspaper, I always went to my horoscope. Yeah. So they're just beautiful pictures and you can read your, your, what your horoscope says or what your, what your, uh, your, I don't want to say horoscope, but yeah what your sign says, and then it talks about the kitty in the picture. So there you go. That was neat. Star cat. All right, so $4 for that. Let us know in the chat if you'd like to claim that. Beautiful pictures. Okay. And Lucinda, I saw it, but I have not read it yet. Uh, um, all right, I have got a picture of a beautiful, I think it's a park, which not something you see every day in old pictures and out like an outdoor picture in a park. But it looks like there's some people mm. down there and a big fountain. I do love a fountain. And then I'll show it back here where we've got some shrubs and some trees, but it's, it's a really cool picture. No idea where this is at. There is a little like curvature to the picture just from the way it was stored. For those of you right. true ephemera fans, my older sister found today the actual obituary of my father's first wife, which would be have been her mother, and paragraphs about this woman who died in the 1950s and her activism in political parties and during the Red Cross. It was very, I was very happy for her that she found her mother's obituary with all the details. She was nice. only 40 when she passed. Wow. Wow. Yeah. My brother mm. and sister were nine and seven when they lost their mother. Mm. And Sara Lee is a Pisces. I just noticed there's a building back there. So I wonder if that's like a city park or maybe like a university park. They have a big fancy building back there. Oh, looks like, is that a building back there too? That could be a building back there. But it's a really pretty, really nice. 
I don't know if it's a mansion. I'm thinking more like like a city park or university. And it gives me those vibes. Beautiful. And hi, Mary Ellen. And Mary Ellen hi, is Ellen. in. And it is, it's close to five by seven. But we will count that down for Mary Ellen. Going once, going twice, and sold to Mary Ellen. Thank you. Congrats. Congratulations. All right, and we'll go Congratulations, back. Congratulations, Mary Ellen. All right, so I'm going to start this off at $3. Uh, here is a picture of this gentleman, and it is a chip missing on the top, it chipped off, and he has a Sue look away, a pretty thick mustache, yes, he does. I and see some, I see some, some uh, good, good set of ears on him, right with a bow tie, nice suit, glasses. There's nothing on the back written on Aaron, him. If you had to guess, what do you think this guy did for a living? I say a banker. Yeah, just a little banker. Vibe. That's exactly what I was going to say. Banker or lawyer? I'm going to say pharmacist. Uh, there you could go. Be. Yeah. He, this was um from New. He was from New. This was taken in New London, uh, Connecticut. But he was a vampire by night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a teacher. Good one, Jan. Accountant. Yeah. Kathy, if you remember the comb over, you should have seen the picture that one of these guys had last week with a guy with a middle part. It was the worst idea. <laughs> I think Aaron had that one. Yeah, I think, where it, yeah. Was, it was cut right here. It was and it didn't quite cover. Yeah. He tried. Yes. <laughs> right. His suit looks a little little big for him. Martisson. Oh, oh Sarah Lee's into mysticism. Cool. So it's about nine by seven. The cabinet card, and it was taken by Kennison. Kinson. All right. Well, I don't see any takers. All right. So we will oh, pass yeah. on him, but he he would be a good one to to doctor up and to turn into you know, you could turn him into a, a Santa Claus or, you know, <laughs> a warlock. Yes. <laughs> he would be a fun one to do that with. All right, we will go back to Angie. Hey guys. So I have some cabinet cards as well. Uh, there is 
five left out of the big batch that I bought. So we'll do, um, we're going to start this at $6. We've okay, got Auntie, your, your picture is not matching your audio. Is, is that what everybody else is seeing? Or is it just oh. me? I'm not seeing what you're seeing, Tricia. Okay. Maybe it's just it me. All good? Good? Okay. Me, good. Okay. okay. Just, just make sure I get <laughs> Um, this couple, um, she's got some kind of weird clip in her hair. It says Hartley Portraits, Madison Street, Chicago. And then it says Mrs. Munson of Beloit, Wisconsin. I'm assuming that's the woman in the picture. There's that one. There's this couple. And I missed your start price. Sorry. Oh, six dollars start. Six. And this one's five. got the really cool like thing on the back. Then you've got the very serious lady. And now she's not serious. She doesn't have her teeth in, Angie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just wonder how she gets her hair that way. Like, how do you sit there and I don't, I don't know. know. That would take way too much time. I don't have that kind of time. She reminds me of like an old spinster school teacher or something. Nothing on the back of that one. Then this gentleman and woman. They're obviously the same time frame because they have the same. They're putting their arms on the same table and background. These are from... Columbus, Ohio. I'm not even going to try. Owners. So it's these five cabinet cards starting at $6. We've got Finster Teacher Lady. Make a great witch. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Blood coming down her nose. Yeah. <laughs> Put her on a bicycle. Um, I just, I always am fascinated with this one for her hair. Like she's got some yeah, kind of shell clip in or something. The money of these outfits on this couple. Yeah. Uh -huh. They've got some money. Madison Street, Chicago. That says 1962, but I don't think that's what it means. Yeah, it would no. be no. Because no, then the next one is 1962 and a half. I wonder if those are the numbers of the negatives or something. Because that's definitely not 1962. No, definitely not. And then these two. So those are my five card cabinet cards. They'd make a nice spooky set. If you wanted to do them up spookily. Six dollars, and they're all about five by seven. She, you're right, she needs to put her teeth in. Yeah, that's what it is. She looks so serious, like, like maybe her husband's off screen and she's giving him a dirty look or something. I don't know. No, that never happens. No, <laughs> so okay, that was my. My lot. Thank you for looking. Welcome. All right. Seriously, I don't get damaged. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. I have got a book. Uh, it is going to start at $10. And... Uh, so you guys know one of my favorite local artists name is Jody Bergsma. And I had a fairies book by her, but this one is wizard. Cool. And she is a very well-known artist. You guys know, I bring a lot of her art to the sale and um so she did the story and she did the graphics in here 
and I'm looking for the date. Oh, you got a but I don't see it. It says here that a wizard was inspired by her journey to Ireland. Uh, she rode on horseback uh, to historical Wicklow Trail from Dublin to the 6th century city of ooh, Glendalow. And so that inspired her story here. But I don't see... I don't see it. It says here, um, the young queen Ariana, great granddaughter of King Longalor, now ruled the kingdom of Lugan. Eleven years had passed since the death of her parents and the queen's reign was in danger. Um, during her youth, the royal advisory had overseen the kingdom Greedy for more power, they banished all wizards from the royal city and exiled dragons from the land. With the dragons gone, trolls and monsters began to occupy the forests, and Lugan entered a time of sadness and decay. Oh, no. So what will happen when she goes to find the wizards? But, yeah, look at these graphics. Let's see. Get the one hiding there, and there's like a little face in the tree, little mice. But it's so cute. So there's all these little hidden things. Can't hear you. I said, I'm sorry. She wrote the story and did the illustration. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's wow. That's a multi challenge. Yes. Yeah. It's really awesome. Oh, look at that kitty. <laughs> well, that's a cool dragon. And a little fairy. All right. Well, somebody type something into the chat because yes. nobody on my end, nobody's typing anything in the chat. And I just want to make sure since oh. I was that everything's working all right. Thank you. <laughs> Smarty pants. All right. And if you want to see the rest of the story, you got to buy the book. But it is beautifully illustrated. And uh, this came out in 2008. Oh, I guess the original was 2000. This version came out in 2008. All right. So again, you want to see the rest of the story? You got to get the book. Get it. All right. So right. we are going to pass on that, and we're going to go back to Aaron. All right. So now, this is going to be for $3. And we had this lovely lady. Showing off her lovely everything swimsuit. Hi, Jamie. She's lovely from head to toe. Beautiful. What? There's no information on the back one, or where's this at? Trisha, what was the last year you purchased a bathing suit? Um, let's see, 10, maybe like 15 years ago or so, and but I don't, I don't wear it that often, but it still fits. So no need to replace it. 
I'm about five or six years. And again, I don't wear it that often either. Angie, how about you? Mine is probably uh, three or four years old and I don't wear it all that much. Steve? Um, <laughs> a, you even you, wear a bathing suit. You just wear you boxers. <laughs> you know, kind of a guy just jumping in the pool in the driveway. She's yeah. Yeah. Do you have a pair of sw uh, swimsuit trunks? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, do? Okay. He does have a pair. I don't Tom know where they are. Tom has a swimsuit wardrobe. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Swimsuits Tom buy come with like the, the netting to be like underwear. Yeah. And they sort of are the type that they could be shorts, but they could also be a bathing suit. So that's his summer wardrobe. Always ready to take a dip, but we never do. <laughs> um, he loves him some hot tub on a cruise. I could lose him. For oh yeah, hours, hours in a hot tub. That one. So oh yeah. Chad, you still all right in there? Everything's still okay? Yep. <laughs> Sounds like you. Yeah, I won't go in. <laughs> Steve, I go in, time. but I don't stay in there long. I stay in there just to warm up, and then I get out. It's otherwise it gets oh. too hot. Oh, dude. Yeah, we've got really dirty oceans here, so yeah. Only, uh, if you had a friend that had a pool that you got to go really swimming, because otherwise you just put your feet in. That's as far as you'd want to go in our shore. So well, we live very beautiful half hour woman. from the. Water capital, water slide capital of the world. Never have I ever been to a water park or a water slide. Really? And I, I would bet my bottom dollar that Trisha has not torpedoed down a water slide. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? Uh, you would be very wrong. I have spent most of my childhood with swimming pools. No, so. I I said water park or water yeah. slide. Well, water park, yeah. See, I don't know you. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I love like water we are slide. passing on this picture. All right. Oh, okay, Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Steven. <laughs> Tell the world. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. I don't like the real big drop slides where you're like just yourself and you go down. I like the ones where you're in the floaty and you go down. Those are fun. I do those. I like those. I also could and, never take the steps to get up. Oh yeah. That's the biggest like, pain in the butt. Yes, yeah. Like, and the lines. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The lines. So there's what three major huge water parks a half hour from no 25 minutes from us. Well, there's wilderness, Kalahari, Great Wolf. Oh, we've oh I wouldn't go to I wouldn't go to Olympia yeah. if you paid me. Oh no, it's a major water park, but it's awful. Okay, this is my next one. This is sealed in the box. It has never been Ow. opened. It's Thomas Kincaid Disney puzzles. The painter and, of white and Disney together in one box. Yes, and there's four That's puzzles. Great. That's so crazy. the first one is Alice in Wonderland. The second one is Mickey and Minnie. Mickey and Minnie at a flower shop. And then this one is Beauty and the Beast dancing. Here's what I would want to know because your start price? Yes, $5. I would want to know that too. But what do I want to know? Start price. Oh, twelve dollars. Okay. I would like to know within the box, are the pieces for the four in individual plastic bags or is it really because it's sealed? Right? Is it well? I'm saying on the box, does it say, or is it really no, there with mixed. the kids that you got to do all four at the same time? Because no, the, you think they're individually bagged inside there? I would think they're, yeah, I would guess they're individually bagged, but I can't, I mean, that it's sealed. So don't now, there, is a, there is a bend Shake in the it. box. Shake it. No, you can hear it. You can hear the puzzle pieces, but 
There's so like they're in, yeah, they're body. they're not like in their own boxes in the box, no. but they're probably in their own bags. Yeah, I would say they're probably that in their own. Bags. Absolutely, like so mean. Yeah, no, I would. Out. I would. Yeah. Like, see you next. Oh, year. it says also oh, there's who would come up with that. It also says there's a um, bonus po uh, poster in there too. So it says 500 pieces. So that means all. So. 500 pieces each puzzle. There's four puzzles in here. The finished size of each puzzle is 18 by 14. So they're a nice big. size too. Yeah, big. Yeah. That's a deal. That's a big deal, especially that it's sealed. Think think Christmas. Yeah, this present. is sealed. Think uh, you know, we passed Easter, but that would have been great in an Easter basket. That's a great gift. Yeah. It's really nice really nice it's never been opened like i said there is a bend there is a bend right here from shelfware or something but you nope. can see it's sealed it's got yeah. its original seal on it on both sides so what does it say here it's number three six six nine one but it doesn't say oh it's from 2017 yep four four individual jigsaw puzzles it says an individual jigsaw puzzle so it should be they should be separate in bags. They should be. Yeah. Who doesn't love Disney? This would, this would be my favorite to do, the Alice in Wonderland one. Because she just looks like she's like looking into the water. And then you've got all the the stuff down there with the bunny and the, well, the rabbit and the worm, caterpillar, the singing flowers, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So it's got all the little stuff. So she just looking in the water and then you've got all that going on underneath. That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what is that? I think that's her dad up there. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast's dad up there. Oh, Gaston's in the corner here by the other castle. So, yeah, there's a lot of details on these. As you look at them, you find more and more details on them. Hello, Gloria. Welcome in. Hi, Gloria. Uh Singing All right, Gloria, so starting Gloria, at a 12. Gloria, <laughs> I think I got your number, Gloria. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Otherwise, that is my item. All right. Thank you. That's neat. And let's see. So I have a lot of five okay. pictures. And I put them together because, I don't know, they, I can't quite tell how close to, um, I don't think they're like Civil War pictures, because they're not that, that style of picture, but I think think that this camp is very reminiscent of civil war and i think some of the buildings are like you know i don't know like maybe armories or something that may have been used so it kind of felt yeah. like this tied everything together um so here is the first one so this uh, we got a soldier in front of a tent and he's got a bicycle Again, I don't think this is like Civil War, but it, it looks probably very reminiscent of what things looked like for the Civil War. So that is the first picture, and there's five of them here. Then we've got this house with some cannons in front of it. You know, as people do have, you know, cannons in front of their house. <laughs> it looks like there's a big flagpole or something there. And then there's this building. And then this building, there's two pictures of. So there's this view, and then it looks like this far away view, maybe from a different angle. But that 
looks like the same picture. Like that's the back side maybe, and that's the front side. So, so yeah, interesting little grouping, but they kind of reminded me of like armories or buildings maybe that had been used in like the war. And then there's that one. And these are all five by seven. So we've got the house with the cannons in front. And then the soldier in front of the tent with his bicycle. So some kind of a messenger guy, maybe. But he does have a, he's got a rifle. So interesting little grouping. So I put those together. So you're going to get uh, all five of them for $6. All right. And those were my items. So we are going to go back to Aaron. Microphone. Now I'm going to start this off at $5. We have Christmas with Norman Walkwell by John Kirk. And this book was copy written in 1990. So he has all of his Christmas uh, Saturday evening covers on here. What a talent this guy was. Unbelievable. Yes. So we have Doctor and Doll. More than two million and a quarter weekly. It says on the on the uh, cover. We'll do his, I guess, some, some of his life. We got Northwest Station, Chicago. Northwestern Station. Gramp Encounter. Playing Santa. Nineteen twenty Christmas. Merry Christmas, nineteen twenty one. Santa with drum. Downhill, darling. Blink page right there. Here's a Santa by the globe. Extra good boys and girls.
Oh, look at the little puppy with the the boy and girl. The yeah, little girl with her, her father. That's cute. That would be a nice book to put on a stand and just, you know, turn the page each day and just, you know, enjoy yeah. enjoy it as you, you know, passed by and then the next day just turn the page and enjoy the next one. We There's have a Norman Rockwell Museum here in Reedsburg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Oh, for commercials, for advertisements. Yeah, I didn't know he did yeah, advertisements. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for listening to us in the car, Mary. That was nice of you. Hey, Mary. Welcome in. Hey, Mary. Now we had like 19, 1948. Wow. He was born when? 1894. Wow. Born 1894, died 1978 at the age of mm. 84. Wow. Oh, well, thank you, Kathy. Look at Kathy doing some research. The Round Building is a national park at Fort Schelling in Minnesota. Nice. Oh, hard work and mama. All worn out. Yeah. Oh, no, After the kid. Christmas rush. Gotcha. Yeah, he did a lot of ad or a lot of front covers. Yeah. I didn't know he did that many advertisements though. So yeah, that's the that's cool. Book right there. I see and Lisa, Lisa is in. Five. And here's the back. I have to say, of the three artists that we've Hi, had Lisa. in the last 15 minutes, the one that Trisha brought with the Wizard Book and um, the one that Angie brought, Thomas Kincaid, with the Disney, and this one, I'm mm -hmm. more partial to this artist. I, I, really, I really like his uh, aesthetic. Yeah, his his museum. They I don't know what connection he has to Wisconsin. He's got some connection because they have a museum for him right here in town. I've well, never figured out how this down how for Lisa. Well, going once, going twice, and yeah. sold to Lisa. Awesome, Lisa. That was a great buy. All right, Excellent. going back to Angie. Absolutely. All right, my next one is a 1964 souvenir world map of the New York's World Fair. And it is a little rough around the edges. But I think it is so cool. So it unfolds, and it unfolds pretty big. So I'm not going to completely unfold it. We'll do a little bit though. So you've got all the street the map. Tourists, the tourists at the fair opening that up and trying to say, where it's, am I? Yeah. Where am it, I? And it's right. big. So on one side is the streets. And you open it up and you can get all the streets, but then you open it up even more and it shows you where everything is at the fair. The attractions. Yeah, oh. all the attractions, the stadium. Like I said, this opens up again even more. Wow. So it's really big. And what's your start price? Four dollars. A lot of world <laughs> fan collectors. I'm trying wow. to open it, but I don't want to. Okay. The trick is trying to close them again, I find. Yeah, I know. It's like I <laughs> but it gives you everything that happened at that at that world's fair. And I was at that. Don't remember much, but I was there. Really? And then the back of it is the street. There's not a whole lot of street names, but it gives you just a layout of all the streets, which a there's a lot of streets there. Awesome. I mean, that's huge compared to where I'm from. But anyway, so this, it says official souvenir map. Let's 
go that way. There we go. Official uh, souvenir nap, uh, map, New, uh, New York World's Fair, 1964-1965. Now, yeah, now I got to try to fold it up, guys, without, without hurting it. Like I said, it does have a little rough wear around the edges of it because obviously it was used. But I think that is really cool. And if you're from New York and you can identify some of those areas, I think that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. What is that? I don't know. Aviation building. It looks like the moon. It's like one that looks like the moon and one that has got stars on it. I thought you were talking about Steve's underwear again. <laughs> no. No. I don't want to see that moon. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> that one's okay, though. Ooh, and it says you can mail it in and get a deluxe edition map for $2.50 printed on fine cloth. wonder what happens if you send that in now. <laughs> They'd probably be like, what the heck? <laughs> All right, so four dollars for the uh, official New York City World's Fair 1964-65 map. This is as old as you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it looks like we are passing on that. Okay. Thank you for looking. But just a reminder, we do not do the speed round on Friday nights. So if you've come in um, later and joined us and we have passed on some items um, at any time, if you want to take a sec, go back, see if uh, anything is uh, unclaimed, still available. Um, you can claim it at any time during um, during the sale. I have got a $6 start price on an owl's coloring book. That's cool. And they've got like the first cover, the inside cover here. <coughs> All done. And then yeah, the one on the cover. Very cool. Um, the back. And then there is the back over 30 owls to cover. <laughs> now, I think, um, so these are just on single pages also. Let me see. I th thought I saw one that somebody had, like, started to color in. But then, oh, that one. I think that's it. But I'll just double check and then I'll show you the pages. Oh, that one. Okay. So there's two. And this I think is pretty. Oh, here's the first one. This one, somebody did color in some green. <coughs> Very wise owls. Beautiful. <coughs> Ooh, owls even play guitars. I did not know that. <laughs> and then this one, somebody colored in just a little bit right there, but that's that's it. What no owl with the with the lollipop? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Where's Randy? How many licks do it take to get to the center of a tootsie tootsie roll pop? Right. Yes. Tootsie pop, tootsie pop, or tootsie roll pop? Tootsie, tootsie pop. pop. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Aaron, we'll have to print out a picture Ooh. that's in the book. Look yeah, at that. there's a castle, castle. in the... Oh, wow, that's oh, it's pretty. like a it's like a uh, a crystal ball. Yeah. Oh wow. That's cool. Oh, totem pole. Oh, neat. neat.
Oh, a harp. Oh, that's cool. That one looks almost, ha well, a little bit of a Halloween. Hey, she's with the kitty. Why is the kitty holding a jar of honey? Huh. I don't know. How <coughs> and the pussy cat. <coughs> There's water. Ah, I'm trying to get the page oh, that one's neat. The stars and everything. Oh, that's cool. Is there another owl? And like a, a really cool book. That a is really, really cool one. So, and they're just on single pages, not on the back. Um, also, so if you're using a pen, it won't bleed through. So that is six dollars. For the owl coloring book. All right. And we are going back to Aaron. All right. <laughs> so this is going to be for $5. Oh, oh Kathy's oh. in for six. All right, Kathy, I'm going to count you down while Aaron's giving me a start price. Hi, KJ. But this is going to be for $5. Hey, Thank KJ, you, how you doing? And this is normal Norman Rockwell oh. at home in Vermont. The companion series to the previously shown book. That's yeah. right. By Ooh, a covered bridge. Who was into the well, mystery? Is that a mystery? A mystery? A mystery? I don't know. I'm trying to say. Is that a coincidink? Coinky dink or not? <laughs> no. And this Dr. is 1997. Thank you. Oh, Kathy, that's so sweet. She gifted it. Yeah. Gift alert. Gift alert. <laughs> and Lynn. so I don't know. I guess he, he grew up in Vermont. Oh, okay. It says calling in. in. So I don't know if that's <coughs> childhood house. So it's got different pictures of his. Uh, Will, Mrs. and Mrs. Frank Hall. Lynn, when did you feel the aftershock? Just recently? I haven't felt nothing. Not that I want to feel it, but. Um, I, I think Angie's on a big screen. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Um, Gotta put Aaron back. Sorry. And it's not my turn to go. Know. But I'll what, did I, what did I hit? Uh oh. I don't know, but it's good. <laughs> there you go. And Kathy, I don't live in Greendale. And this is the uh, open field and mountains of that area. And here is his illustrations. Rockwell got his start as an illustration of children's stories. Such as this one from the Magic Football, published in St. Nichols Magazine in 1914. And I guess he had owned a farm, he had cows and a dog. One thing I saw on videos, and I know that not everybody gets a lot of earthquakes, but the one thing I saw, people in coffee shops and stuff, the earthquake hits, what do they do? They go run outside. Do not, not. please, do not ever oh, really? run outside in the middle of an earthquake. You are so much safer inside, wherever you're at. If you're outside and there's an earthquake, try to get inside somewhere because there could be falling debris. 
and you don't want to be outside. So I saw a whole bunch of people running outside. Please don't put that in, in the back of your memory if there's ever an earthquake, but please do not, not run outside. <laughs> you know what, Tricia? Um, all the alerts that we got here in New Jersey from everybody was to get outside. So that's really weird. Oh. Yeah. No, you never want to go outside. Yeah. So no. we got bad, bad, bad advice in addition. Oh, no. I thought it was stand in a doorway was the thing well, I have always had in my head. Usually, usually a good place under a table is a good place just in case something's falling. But I guess what you're talking about. Um, no, out, outside is a horrible yeah. place to be yeah, in, a, in an earthquake. All, like all the things in people's trees in can like, fall, outside, things outside. can fall from buildings. We have had um, skyscrapers. We've had those huge, several hundred pound windows fall out. It's like no, and they say if you're if you're outside and you, and you can't get inside, get up against a building, but do not be out on the street. Oh no. What you're saying yep. makes absolute sense, and it's upsetting that the bad news, the wrong news, was what was being blurted at the time. To so not by local officials, though, is it? No, like you know, tell a friend. Oh yeah, know? no, 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 no. People yeah. who have those are people who have never been in an earthquake. No, that's but, scary. But no, definitely. If on you're in your Instagram house. And Twitter and all that for you yeah. know. Well, you never want to believe them anyway. They're well, that's true. I just I looked it up on um, the CDC, the government, whatever, and it says if you are inside a building during an earthquake, you should stay inside. If you happen to be outside during an earthquake, you should stay outside. If you need, if you are outside, you should move away from buildings, utility wires, sinkholes, and gas lines. So it says to do either depending on where you are. Yeah, I would say if you're if it's you're outside and you have an opportunity to get inside, get inside. But yeah, and stay away from oh. bookcases in your house because oh, yeah, those those could fall over. In your kitchen, not a good place because cabinets can open and things can nice. fall out of your cabinets. Yep. Oh, and now this one, University of Washington says. Do not run outside or other rooms during shaking. Stay where you are. Windows, facades, and architectural details are the first parts of the building to collapse. Stay away from this danger zone. Stay inside in a safe area. Also, shaking can be strong. You will not be able to move far without falling down or have objects fall on you or be thrown at you that you do not expect. Injuries can be avoided if you drop to the ground before the earthquake drops you. Do not stand in the doorway. An enduring earthquake image of California is a co collapsed adobe home with the front door frame as the only standing part. Well, that's true. Okay, wait. But it says do well, I not. I know. They keep saying don't stand in the, in the door. But to do, it, so we don't but know what yeah. to do. Yeah. Door, door frames can be some of the stronger areas. But, again, under under a table, that's always good. All right. How many of them are old enough, mixed, old mixed. enough that when you were a kid and you had the siren drills to get under your desk? My, for yeah, Bob Steve Bob. remembers that. All right. Anyone for the Norman Rockwell oh. um, home, another government and one his here. home book that is $5 for the Norman Rockwell book? Oh, use earthquake putty for objects. Yeah, that's good, Lucinda. You guys shake a, a whole lot more. Yeah, see, I think if you're in a state that has this, it's like not a, you know, light. But for New Jersey, we don't have earthquakes, mm -hmm. right? So it was like big shaking, uh, pun intended, news. <laughs> well, I just checked out three different websites and they all tell you different things. So. Yeah. And Thankfully, in Wisconsin, we don't have earthquakes, so I wouldn't know what in the world to do in an earthquake. I would have said that yesterday. But, Jersey but too. more areas, because of natural gas fracking, mm -hmm. more areas that don't usually get earthquakes are getting earthquakes because of the fracking. 
Uh, Thankfully, we're in a small town. It's all grass and cows and farms. There's no skyscrapers. So, <laughs> do you have good all right. China? Because if you my don't, next worry, lot, I have good China. My next lot is $15 start. It is a set of little golden books, all Sesame Street, all vintage. So, I will share them with you. This one's got a how little many bit for of. 15? How many for 15? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put me in, please. I can't type. <laughs> okay. So 15 so far for Sue, but I haven't even shown them. I okay. Don't, I don't need Sesame. to teach them. If they're all Sesame Street and vintage, you got my first. They're all kid. Sesame Street, I'll, the, I'll, the, I'll the together the book. Thing. Nothing's written on the front. No name on there. I, did um, have I mean, I it didn't is, have these, but I had to. So look at, look at, look at, look at all the, the characters. I love it. Um, this one is in pretty good shape. I didn't, I mean, except for the little bit of sticker there. The next one, I love this book as a kid, the cookie monster and the cookie tree. Hell yeah. Look at it, 69 cents. And we're calling it also, Brookie, Brook, Brookie Cookie. After, after Janice named her Brookie Cookie in her prayer group, we've been calling her Brookie Cookie. <laughs> oh, cute. So this one, if you've never read it. Cookie Monster runs across this cookie witch who's trying to grow cookies on a tree and he outsmarts her and he gets all the cookies. Oh, are they peanut butter cookies? I have no clue what kind they are. Chocolate chip. Sorry, Doug. I tried. <laughs> the next one is the amazing Mumford forgets his magic words. This one also is in really good shape. Nothing written in the front page. My father was a magician. This one is tied in. Okay. Look at that. He says the wrong words. I and to show me. I knew. I knew that I was going to love him. <laughs> Look at that. All right. This one is in really good shape. This is another one I loved as a kid. If you've never read this one, I don't care how old you are. You got to go read it. The monster at the end of this book. Hello, everybody. And this one is in really good shape, too. And I won't, I, I probably should, like, I won't show the end because I don't want anybody, I don't want to spoil the story. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Stop turning the pages. Okay. I won't show you the end, but it just says, I'm so embarrassed. And that one's in really good shape. Oh, Doug All right. Grover book as a Wasn't kid. this one good? Oh, the Grover one? Yeah, this one. This one was so funny as a kid. I mean, I'd read it a million times. I still laughed at the end of it. Little okay. baby Doug. Grover takes care of baby. We had to. Okay. It's in such a good condition. Like the spine, it's not even like totally bent. It is in such good condition. And Grover is learning to take care. Look at this. They're doing little exercises. The baby sucking on his toes. They're playing together. Super Grover visits. But there's nothing written on the front again. It's in great shape. Okay, the next one is called Puppy Love. Now this one, whoever owned it, put contact paper on the front and the back. You can see the lines where the contact paper ends up. And then there is also a, a name there. The story itself has not been affected. The pages inside are great. They're fine. But the back and the front cover have been um, uh, contact papered. Don't know why. But it keeps the book in really good shape anyway. The next one is called Big Bird's Red Book. This one's in a little bit of rough shape. Corner's kind of roughed up there. Some of the top is roughed up. The story inside, again, nobody wrote on the little golden book thing. The story inside is fine. No, no problems there. But the, the cover needed some help. I can't get it. There we go. So he made a big mess. The back is fine. It's just the front got a little dinged up. And then Gro Grover's own alphabet. Now this, in overall, it's in good shape. But the front cover, somebody um, did put a little blue crayon on there. Just a little. 
I guess they were crossing out the kitty cat. They didn't like the kitty cat. And then there's a name there. The rest of it, though, is the alphabet, Grover's alphabet. And they're fine. The pages are fine. Oh, this one's got a little yellow coloring. I knew there was someone that was marked. Got S and D. That's cute. Um, oh, walrus. Just trying to avoid the walrus. Um, oh, and this has some yellow coloring in it too. So this one does have marks. So this one has marks. I knew it. One of them did. So that one has marks. This one. I'm sure it's beat up, but it's also because it's Oscar. So they kind of damage the make it look damaged. <laughs> But it also, I mean, let's see. I mean, you can tell by the back of it. It's not really that damaged, but it really looks damaged. They really tried to make it look like he really roughed it up. It is written in here. <clears throat> I don't want you to read it. In Nicole's crib, when she was a baby, was a Bert and Ernie doll. Oh, cool. Up in my attic that I have to find. I, my brother had Cookie Monster. My I other brother had Big Bird. Um, I can't remember what I had. The, the Tickle Me Elmo craze. Remember when that happened? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And as you can see on the back, it is worn too. So there is some wear to this book. There is somewhere to this book, but I mean, it is readable. The pages are okay, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's been dinged up. It's been well loved. Oscar oh. the Grouch is my spirit animal. <laughs> so this is starting at 15. There is nine books here. Most of them are okay. Like I said, there was a few boo-boos. I tried to point them out. Um, there was one book that did have coloring marks and Sue Spezio's in for 15. Anybody else want to get in? I loved reading Monster at the end of this book for my kid. I know, J, uh, uh, KJ, I loved it too. I, I right. loved it. Those were my, those were my go-tos when I was a kid. We're I mean, before the whole. All right. Going once. Going twice. And Sue Spezio Show. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, You're welcome, Sue. Two, two things. One is um, Tom's debit card for his PayPal got hacked. So okay. just wait a couple of days for the invoice because we got the new no credit problem. card on the way. And the second thing, if I may, a public service announcement for those that don't know, Brookie Cookie was discharged two days ago and has been reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> Karen Rosebud. <laughs> Yesterday, Yay! had a day full of photo shoots. They took the one month picture together. Um, the pediatrician, they they walked in uh, you know in their double stroller and uh, were spoken to by um, all the little old ladies that passed them on the street. That said, "Oh, how cute!" And then one interesting comment: a neighbor in their building. Was sharing an elevator with them. Now, if I saw a mother and father and twin twin uh, strollers in an elevator, I might say, "I'll get the next one. Go ahead." But no, she she went in, and she said to them the oddest thing. She goes, "Are they your only set?" Set. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. No, I pop twins out every nine months. They're my only set. Goes, so far. Oh, I, so she says in return, "I have two sets of twins." They are now, however old, you know, 32 wow, or 28. Two sets but, of wow. twins. So this must be her go-to line every time she sees twins. <laughs> just say, oh, oh, you know, you just got the one pair? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can you? I got to tell you. But they are doing great so far. Um, Nicole sent me a 15-second video of the two of them crying in harmony. Some of you may think that's weird. It was the most beautiful music I've ever heard. Yeah. Get them together and harmonizing their cries and seeing just Nicole and her husband just laughing like, you get one, I'll grab one. I get one. <laughs> Let's start bouncing and whatever you do. 
but I am mm-hmm. going with Grandpa Tom tomorrow to see Brooke for the first time, and of course Rosie again. And uh, we're spending the afternoon. I'm beyond excited, beyond. But oh, yes, that's all, awesome. all your good prayers, your good thoughts, your good wishes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And keep them coming mm-hmm. because uh, Brooke has a lot of medical problems and um, mm-hmm. you require a lot of visits to a lot of doctors and possibly multiple procedures. But we're very positive and very, very happy that she's home. So thanks for letting me steal the thunder for a few minutes. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Anytime. I love hearing that good news. All right. These are yours. If you want to see 17 pictures of them, you have to follow my son-in-law. And I his- did. I, I went to his Instagram. I saw nothing. Oh, it's the- apparently it's the- maybe my Instagram is broken. I see I don't nothing. Know. So he is, but you found his page, sir. Yeah. Under- I okay. saw the picture of them. You know, here we are, February 28th. Here's okay, the twins. So if you, if you and that's, it, that's all it, I saw. It a sli- it's a slideshow of 17 pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah, so on Instagram, yeah, so you know, okay, when on Instagram, if it's one picture, it's one picture. But if it's multiple pictures in the little right hand corner, it'll show you like, like an overlay, like, like I am one of more than one. You have to know it. So, yeah, so if you click on the first one and you can just swipe and you can see all 17. So it's the day one to the day she came. Okay, home. I will um, do that yeah, then. His, his Instagram is. Uh, and you, he's an interesting guy. You might want to follow Hopefully, him anyway. Can I can I find it and show it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Okay. Oh, please I'll do. I'll find it. I'll please find do. it. I'll show it. I'll show it, guys. Yay! After the sale. So you got to stick around. <laughs> All right. I've got for $3 a deck of old yep. made playing cards. Now, that's so un- politically incorrect. Do you think they still make old made cards now? In today's, you know, politically correct society. My, my picture. There I am. No, there's a mustache. It might be me. So they're all here, but I'll show them. I'll show them to oh, you. Look at Doug. Look at Doug with his party pants. Because the graphics are really cute. Oh, they are. <laughs> there I am. I know Biology the red scientist. Biology major, Sue Spezia with her hair. Oh my God, this is so cute. I Those love this. Are. Police office is a woman because it's old maid. But it's funny how some of the old maids are men. I've never seen that. Oh, wow. because there's only one old maid. That's right. The card is you don't want to get the one old maid. Right. Right. I forgot the game. See, now I would buy this for my kid, ex- kids, except that I bet my kid is of the school of thought that, that this is not correct anymore. Like, she's like that millennial. Like, no, mom, I don't want children playing old maid. But we had tons of fun. This is a great matching, yeah. great matching game. And those cards are in great shape. The graphics are mm-hmm. terrific. Singer. Aww. Oh, they're great. That's a good. That might be my favorite set of cards you've ever brought. Those are cute. There you go. That was so cool. That is the whole set. Three dollars. I'm in. Three dollars. For the old (laughs) maid cards. (laughs) I'm in. This is going to be the new Suspizio who didn't spend for more than a year. Now I got twins. Now I got somebody to buy from. Oh, well, Lucinda, Lucinda. So Lucinda came in at three. Um, so Lucinda, I, I, we've got I, I will, Sue in also. I um, will go out to Lucinda. <laughs> okay. Just in case. I'll do the just in case I, my first instinct was right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so Sue's not sure her daughter would, would enjoy these. Yeah, we would keep them at my house and never tell her, you know, like that kind so, of download. What happens at Norna's house stays at Norna's house. Are you sure you want to be out then? Yeah, I don't like to bid against friends. I'm out. Okay. 
All right, then we will count down for Lucinda. So going once, going <laughs> twice. Yes, I'm sure. And sold to Lucinda. Thank okay, you. Congrats, my friend. Congratulations. I just want some fifteen dollars worth of books. I'm good. <laughs> Sesame Street books. Those are very good. Yeah, they'll be. Oh, oh <laughs> it was meant to be. You are so freaking sweet. Oh, I love you guys. So much. They are girls from you. Thank you. There's some gifts coming for the girls. I can't believe the generosity of this community. Thank you guys so so much. Thank you, Lucinda. Thanks, Lucinda. That's sweet. All right. We are going back to Aaron. All right. Now I have a Norman Rockwell calendar <laughs> for $5. And it is 1986 calendar. And you got the little boy at the uh, doctor's office. So December is that Union Station at Chicago that you saw in the earlier picture. January is a piano tuner. February is the little boy at the doctor's office. March is the runaway. You see him talking to the cop with they're the. They're so familiar. They really are. Like you've seen them so many times in your life in different settings. They're very familiar images. They got April, the game. So I guess it's the husband and wife playing checkers. Then we have the shiner. May. Wow. That was three. Here we have the marriage license. Oh. Hoping the sign wasn't bothering. It was, wasn't it? All right. Then we have the fire condition. Conditions. A little puppy right there. It's, uh, July. Then we have Young Love. Oh. August. The See, Dugout. No stuff. September. There's no bulge in baseball. It's <laughs> <laughs> a normal guy in pants. And we have Willie. Gills at college. Commuters, November. Merry Christmas, December. Then we got January 1997, the art student. Beautiful. Yes. What a what an artist. I tell you. <laughs> and then Maybe, maybe Doug, or maybe he went swimming with Steve in the shrinkage. <laughs> and that's never a good look. I'm sorry. Never, ever. I'd that, rather that's when a cup would help. I'd rather a Speedo than naked. Okay, I'm just saying. You'd rather if a Speedo you know, than a cup? I just don't believe naked, wet men are attractive. 
just me. I mean, you know, some like <laughs> kiss me, Kate. Some don't. <laughs> All right. Some Any like takers <laughs> for the Norman Rockwell calendar? <laughs> Five dollars for the calendar. My cheeks always hurt after this show. <laughs> Just like, ugh. you know what hurts me, Angie? Trying to kegel through this show. Oh God! <laughs> Got a very, very, very weak bladder. Very weak. All right. Well, it looks like we are passing oh. on this one. All right. And we're going to Angie. Okay. I have another book. I don't look and... down, Lucinda. Okay. I just don't look down. <laughs> <laughs> I like to, you know, I just like to look at Tom eye level. Well, that's what <laughs> I can stand. Okay. And don't dare drop the soap while I'm in there. <laughs> Please. 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 Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. No, okay. I am gonna try. I am gonna try. I am gonna try. Entering into my senior years, you know, menopause and you know, low desire. That's what's happening now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, up up be, let's not wind up yet. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. I just okay. How does, I, I want to know how Steve falls asleep through this, but you giggling like a cackling hen. How the heck does he fall asleep? Like, what the heck are you getting? What kind of melatonin tea are you giving him at 9 30? <laughs> Steve, you all right back there? Just bark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know if you've heard of uh, um, Ed Emberly, but I had one of these books. I was... <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and what's your start price? We'll 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 start with that one. There we go. <laughs> then at least you can show the. Shouldn't even have to talk. You okay. can just show the book. It'll, this it'll be good. This book is about a nice little thing called that's like a dinosaur green and an orange interface page. And then look at the interface in the back tell you it's a, of drawing book of animals. And you know what it was published? It was published in that I can't remember, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> no idea. No. Okay. Nineteen seventy. Oh, so it's an oldie but goodie. And this I is the teach kids to draw. Is. No, Kenji, this is not a good time. So, like, it'll. <laughs> okay. So, it starts off like showing you like <laughs> different. Um, here, again, I'm going to move my mic. It's in the way. But it starts, okay, you make a little circle, you make the thing, and it ends up making the animal. So kids can learn to draw from basic, simple um, shapes. So if you have a little one that likes to learn, you know, wants to learn to draw or likes to make characters or whatever, this is a great way to teach them how to make all sorts of simple, yet cute and adorable. There's your monkey. Oh, Kenji. No, Kenji. And then the giraffe. So it goes, it starts with little small insects and goes all the way through, um, all the way through the bigger animals. And then this is notes, hints, and suggestions. There's your dragon. Your dragon is made out of a half circle, some squiggles, and then you add your details as you go. So yeah, this is for kids that want to learn how to, um, make different animals and make simple I'll go this way first well, I guess Lucinda well this would help you Doug I'm this not a help you, person I'm not a porn person I'm not a nudity person I do like a well-dressed person I do oh a little caterpillar oh yes so if, I if had one of these books I had it in soft cover when I was a kid 
refresh because um, your computer hasn't had pictures up in about 15 minutes. So the cover, the front and the back cover are a little rough. Um, that's why I've got it at $4. But um, I thought anybody who has a child out there that wants to doodle, learn to draw, simple shape, animals, this is a great way to start. So $4. Hi, Proud American. Hey, Dilbert. Hey, Dilbert. All right, so that is my. Okay, no takers, but you know what? It's not just for kids. If you want to learn to draw, yeah, it's a great way to that. learn. To draw. You can use that one. I'm breathing again. We're good. All right, I've got a three dollar photo. Aww. Doug, if that is not Mama Morton, I don't know who is. <laughs> Doug, it looks just like your Mama Morton costume. She's so familiar. This, to this lady's now. in charge of the church bake sale, and she is not a fan of your banana bread. All right. <laughs> Look at that face. She's judging you. I'm just glad you said the word bread after that sentence. It looks like her her um, hat has the um, oh the mesh cover over it because it looks like there's there's a little shadow from it, and it looks like she's got her fur trim on. Something's what looking furry hair. there. Very hairy woman. Tuck it in, girl. Tuck it in. But it's a nice oval picture. Money, honey. Yeah, she's got the money. It is about four and a half by three and a quarter. Yeah, she is all about the money. So four and a half by three and a quarter. I saw Joe. <laughs> He's hiding behind that picture. <laughs> Joey. Hi, Hi Joe. Hi, Joe. You're so hey, buddy. Hi, Joe. Hello, hey, handsome. Joe. You come to I say hi you. to everybody? Oh, uh, good job. Trisha, do your good. cats lick you? Because Dexter doesn't lick. Um, well, no, they don't lick me. Yeah. I don't, I don't want them to lick me, so they well, don't lick me. And, and Angie, with the zoo that you've got there, you got any lickers? And I'm not uh, well, Adeline, who passed away, was very much a licker. She would lick the top of Steve's head every time he would go to sleep at night. Ooh, and now and now that we have the, uh, the, all the other cats did it. All eight of the other cats did it. Now the new kitty that we're trying to get used to in the house decided to start licking my fingers and licking Steve's fingers and stuff. So we might have another licker again. So we'll Aww, see. Look at Joe. Joe is adorable. Love you, Mama. Like Give, that, your mom a you? Give mom a kiss. No, we don't lick. And they know. <laughs> they learned very early on. We don't lick. That sure doesn't lick, but Tony, no. I, I no. told you, I want to change his name to Sir Licks a lot because he is just <laughs> like, oh, oh, right. Oh. Right. Oh, that's so cute. Okie dokie. We are going back to Aaron. 
All right, I have president's cards. I have about 40 of them. And they're going to start off at $5. So here we have President Washington. And it goes all the way to President George Bush Sr. Uh, John Adams. Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, John Monroe, James Q. Adams, Andrew Jackson. Martin Van uh, Buren, William Harrison, I said, I said, John, I said, James, my fault, John Taylor, Tyler. James Pow Pike, I mean, uh, Pope, Z uh, Zachary Taylor, Mildred Fillmore, Franklin Pierce. James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, looks kind of weird here. Yeah, he did. He really looked unattractive in that in that picture. I mean, he's never an attractive man to begin with, but that was a bad rendition. <laughs> Andrew Jackson. He looks so mean. Oh, Johnson, my fault. Andrew Johnson. You, you Usulis. Grant, Renfro, Renford, Harris, Hayes, James Garfield, Chester Arthur. Oh, <laughs> that must say Grover Cleveland. Benjamin Harrison. I definitely don't know all my presidents. I'll tell you. Yeah, that. I didn't. Some of these, I was like, oh, William McKinley. Well, at least he shaved. Hello, McKinley. Theodore Roosevelt. William Taft. Woodrow Wilson. I remember having a picture of his funeral uh, a little ways back. Uh, Warren Hardin. Calvert Coolidge. <laughs> um, Herbert Har mm -hmm. uh, Hoover. Franklin D. Roosevelt, Harry Truman, Dwight Howard. I mean, pardon me a few minutes. The white, the white Eisenhower. Wait, the white Howard is a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> See, he could have said that, and I would have no clue. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> John F. Kennedy. Linda, Linda B. Lyndon. Johnson. Lyndon. Bill Johnson. Richard Nixon. 
Gerald D. Ford or Gerald R. Ford? Gerald Ford. I thought it was a D for some reason. Say Ronald Reagan. Oh, Carter. And then, yeah. James Carter. Ronald Reagan. And George Bush Sr. So 40 cards. Nice. What's on the back? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. It's the information of the art of the presidents. Those are cool. Those would be great. So they told for... him the age of when he was a uh, like elected the, the inauguration. Does it have their favorite food? <laughs> um, Doug wants to know if he wants if there's a lasagna. No, involved. and this was in this. These were uh, produced in 1991. Oh, age at inauguration. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So those are nice. So far, the youngest is actually Jimmy Carter. 19, really? He was 52. I thought I thought uh, Kennedy would be the youngest. Maybe he might be, but right now, for what I saw, 55. Let's see. Yeah, Kennedy was 43. Wow. Just sitting there thinking. Are you ready like, to be president, Aaron? <laughs> yeah, like two years, I'll be that age. And just imagine let's, being let's president Let's start the at campaign right now. Yeah. <laughs> Vote for Aaron. <laughs> How old was Obama when? I forgot. Uh, I think Kennedy's still uh, the youngest, right? Yeah, I want to say Obama was, he was close. He was close to that. I gotta check. I don't look that Maybe up. Maybe like forty four. I'm looking it up 45. right now. Oh, never mind. Somebody want to Google that? Theodore Roosevelt was forty two. Oh, was he really? That's what it says there. Wow. He just he just looked older. Yeah. <laughs> he was oh. forty. Gotcha, Lisa. Forty seven. Forty seven. Okay. Forty seven. So, yeah, so okay. Actually, it was. 62, 48. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. It says, Who was the youngest president to win? John F. Kennedy. 51. So that was. Was the youngest Boy, man says in office. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, it was that, those are really interesting because I just had um, some uh, oh. first lady thimbles and. Oh. While I while we were going through the thimbles, our excellent researchers in the chat were um, because some <laughs> of them were like they like one president never married, and so there was no first lady, and so it was like his what was it his niece or something technically was the first lady or his mother one of them, but you know one of them his wife passed away. And so it was like her, her niece kind of hmm. took over. It's like sometimes the first lady was not the first, was not the wife of the president, but another family member who kind of assumed the, the duties oh, of first yeah. lady. And here's another surprising thing, at least so far, these presidents right here, um, Andrew Johnson, Chester Arthur and Mildred Milden uh, Fillmore didn't have vice presidents. Okay, on the back end it says vice presidents none. Oh, oh wow, wow. Well, this one says John John Tyler. He had fifteen children and two wives. In wow. In eighteen thirteen, he married La Etta Christensen. And had eight children, and then he remarried and had the rest. Wow. Imagine being president of the United States and having that many kids. You're a busy man. Can you imagine being the staff trying to keep track of all those kids? And he and had the no vice president either. Oh yeah, my like, God. that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> man. Wow, so, no takers. I am so surprised. That is a great set. Yeah, so it is. It's really nice. So it says he yeah, has three is. boys. So the first wife, he had three boys, five girls. The second wife, he had five girls and two, five boys and two girls. Whew. Wow. 
That's too many. Man, oh man. I hope somebody helped her. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> man, that's just too many. That's a lot. All right. Different. Well, gosh, we're passing on these, but guys, if you yeah, think those are about really them nice. and, and you want those, you let us know. Those are awesome. Homeschool Lou, they go all the way to George Bush Sr. So 1991. Oop, Patrick Johnson's in for five. Oh, oh hi, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Doug. <laughs> oh. Well, we will count that down for Patrick. <laughs> going right. once. Going twice. And so to Patrick. Thank Congratulations, you, Patrick. Patrick. Awesome. I'm so glad somebody picked those up. Yeah, those are really neat. I yeah. like them. Cool. Yeah, they are. All right. Oh, My angry. next one is a magazine, but it's a magazine from August of 1980. And it has in it has um it's called Famous Monsters, but at the the article inside is about Empire Strikes Back, the new Star Wars sequel. So it has a lot of things with monsters. There's your uh, Frankenstein. Front and what's the start price? It's starting at $6. Um, I thought the front page was pretty cool. Genuine soil from Dracula's castle. Oh, man. That's Anybody fun. Want <laughs> Anybody want now, I mean, it is, it is worn. This has obviously been looked at. But... Um, there's the contents. It's from August of 1980. And it goes through just different movies and different things with monsters. Um, birthday witches, nine natal days of different famous people, I guess. <laughs> and then it says the Empire Strikes Back. And it's got a whole section on... The Empire Strikes Back, the movie. Pictures. Oh, nice pictures. Yeah, this is pretty. Well, there you go, Doug. And this is for you. Yoda. And it, it goes through all what's, you know, like all the different stuff. Just like a normal mm -hmm. magazine article. To, okay, down. Um, telling you about all the things about the making of the movie, the characters in the movie. And then you go on to other monsters. Black Sunday. I guess that was a movie back then. I don't know. No, I don't remember that. Now, Ooh. this one does have on this page, you could join the Star Wars fan club. And so somebody did cut the coupon out to send it in. So there is a cut in the page. Darn it, Doug, you missed your opportunity. Now you'll oh. never be a member. Oh, Salem's Lot. Son yeah. of Salem's Lot. I don't remember Son of Salem's Lot, but I do remember Salem's Lot. Star Trek beats out five other favorites. So it's got an article. I'm sorry, about Star Doug. Trek. What are they doing to my baby while I'm gone? Somebody cut out the Star Wars membership um, coupon. So now Doug can't become a Star Wars fan club member. No. I, I know it's a shame. So like I said, the pages inside aren't, aren't too bad except for that one. But the cover is lacking something to be desired. But if you're into aliens and monsters and all you can order latex rubber whole masks of all different characters can't imagine getting those but the new action figures which are you know the star wars oh, action figures oh man i'll bet people wish they had those action figures i do <laughs> maybe, maybe some of you yeah here's some more of them showing what's coming out which now are Highly collectible. 
Oh, well, good. I'm Ooh. glad you got your Spaceballs fan club. Excellent. Oh, there you go, Doug. There you go. And then the last couple pages are advertisements of action figures and things that you can order. There's a crossword puzzle. So anybody who's into like horror flicks, monsters, aliens, whatever you're into is pretty much in here. We can buy C-3PO earrings or R2-D2 earrings. That is very cool for a Star Wars collector. Yeah, it's and the nice thing is this is not, this was a magazine article, so not everybody's going to have this. I bought them for my nephew back in the day. So that's cool, Kathy. Yeah, my um, my husband's dad, my father-in-law, he put all that 1980s and 70s Star Wars stuff in the basement. He's got a whole museum. And the minute he passes away, my husband wants to sell it all because my son's not interested. And I'm like, all that work, all the displays, the dioramas, all of it. And I'm like, that's going to be a lot to, to work through, but. It's going to happen someday. I'm going to have to clean all that out. All right. So $6 start. Like I said, the, the, the paint, the cover is a little rough, but the inside is pretty cool. It's yellowed a little bit from age, but the alien miss Cartwright, the invasion of Veronica Ooh. birthday, witches, the empire strikes gold. So just all different things for movies, monster movies. Watch how fast Trisha can answer this question. You ready? Set. Okay. Which cartoon series had a cartoon character named Veronica? Like Josie and the Pussycats? Aaron? Sabrina, the teenage witch? Archie. 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 I don't know. Archie, you're disappointed me, girl, on your nerdiness. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't, yeah, aside from Sabrina, who was technically part of Archie, I, I, I didn't like Archie. Okay. All right. Well, if nobody's interested, we will pass on this. All you're right. not a weird on the scale. It's okay. You don't, if you know anybody who's a Star Wars fan, this is a really nice collectible. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for shopping. You Clean for up nothing. a new you. <laughs> All right. I have got a $7 book. And it is called um, Through Indian Eyes, uh, The Native Experience in Books for Children. And so this does list a lot of um, books featuring um, Native Americans for children. Uh, this book, it came out originally in 1998, but this one um, I think has been updated to in 2003. It was updated. And let me see. Oops. So it has a table of contents which lists um, books and authors. So this kind of gives like, um, like I guess like a little synopsis of the books. And um, well, I saw books in the back. Yeah, so in the back, I don't know what's in this front section. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the back, and then we'll work our way up to the front section and what's in there. Um, so these are book reviews. And so it does give the cover. So you get the cover of the books. You get the titles. You get the authors. And then you do also get, um, in like in this case, 
They identify this as Cherokee, um, Rising Fawn, and the Fire Mystery. And I'm trying to get that in close. And they tell you, you know, who illustrated it and what grades it's for, the ISBN number, so you can find it. And then it gives you a picture of the cover and a write-up of what the story is about. Um, which, yeah, I think that is really cool, especially if you're looking for, you know, books, books to educate. Or do you like that one, Joe? Well, of course, that's got a horse. Course. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, but I like the fact it gives ISBN numbers because that's that's sometimes easier to search for those. <laughs> <Joe. ones. laughs> He's reading. <laughs> Where does the buffaloes begin? Yeah, Sorry, watch. He goes there. over and gives her a nice big kiss. And, other cats out there that lick. Mommy hasn't been letting me. Do I hear no, this correctly? No, there's there's no <laughs> licking. Mm -hmm. No like, licking. And so it is a nice big book, and it does have lots long. of book reviews in here. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Do you like that story, Joe? He's he's still right here. No, Faye is upstairs. And whenever Faye is upstairs, he is obsessed with what's she doing. I can't see her. I can hear her. What's she doing? Is she playing without me? Is she <laughs> playing? She got my favorite toy. Is she using the litter box? Do I need to <laughs> inspect? <laughs> He's very nosy. She says as he has her nose in his face or the opposite way. He's nosy. Um, KJ, I, I am working on invoicing. Yes, everybody gets worked on in um, kind of oldest to newest order. I don't think it's been a few weeks ago. I think it's been like a week. Um, but typically I, I do invoice about, I try, I'm trying to get back to seven days. Sometimes it's, you know, it's, um, a little more than seven days. Um, sometimes I work on, on boxes and boxes sit for, you know, a while without getting paid too. But, you know, I, I don't always call out people <laughs> in the chat too. Um, but yeah, I haven't forgotten about you. I will get to you. So the first part of this book, I don't know if these are like individual stories, like little short stories. Um, but they are in here. And then the rest of this is book reviews. Um, but yeah, I, th I, I think this is really neat. If nobody... If nobody grabs this, I'll probably go through this too and look and try Aww. to find these really neat little books. Um, because yeah, I don't think I don't think we know about a lot of these books. Oh, the double life of Pocahontas. Oh, who knew? Yeah, I didn't know. Hmm. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool. Oh, the Native American cookbook. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's some really neat ones in here that um, like, oh, oh, what's that one? A promise is a promise. Um, yeah, so that one's $7 and you get, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that oh. one. Ceremony wow. in the Panther. Oh. It's like a mountain lion. Let's see. Oh, Moses Rainclaw has killed a panther, a rare, endangered, protected, and very much and very much illegal Everglades panther. Uh, ooh, 
He He's has this because his mother is severely ill with the deer sickness and only the medicine of the panther will cure her. Oh, I did not know that. All right. So we will pass on this one. And we're going to go back to Aaron. All right. So I have a cabinet card for five dollars of this very handsome well-dressed man if this is old you know uh oh that reminds me that... fancy hat oh. and murdoch mysteries on it's the like... back it says brother and frank you're on mic and when oh, sorry. The murdoch mysteries sorry but <laughs> when you do watch them Please come back and report whether or not we need to watch them, and we'll add it to our homework list. But otherwise, Steve, keep her in check, man. Keep her in check. She's got 400 subscribers. It's time she learns the rules. Very nice, fancy cabinet card here. I remember that movie, Kathy. And the picture was taken by Johnson. Seventeen seasons. <laughs> yeah, corn on the cob again. I mean, there was probably a lot of corn, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Oops>. probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah, of course. Course. No, I don't remember that movie. Not, not Doug. Well, hello, not, Hi, not, not, not Doug. Doug. <laughs> Gosh, it's been a long time since I've seen you. <laughs> you know, no, not Doug. You're not living on our side. Okay. You're going to go with <laughs> cuckoo for coconuts on the other side. Can, can you only things. handle one not Doug? Not not a not not Doug? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because this one is not Team Spezia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get right. me started. Oh, Aaron, right. sell this picture. He's on a rattan chair. He's got a nice hat. He's got on socks. He's got on shoes. He's got his hair part in the middle. He's handsome. He's, He's handsome. It's a, a nice size. Yes. And he got the That's an awesome the chair. chair. And on the back is real cool. Oh. Yeah. Do you guys like love bamboo, rattan, wicker? Like, did you love that in the 70s and still love it now? Because I still do. I still love that. No, no. You know what, Trisha? You can go to Bamboo. <laughs> I, never, <laughs> I never liked it. No, I've I've never liked it. Fortunately, at my deck, I don't have it. So you'll be on a nice. He is a harbor man. But I love. But it. I don't, but I, I like the look like of that know. chair. <laughs> Did you count, you like the look. count that, Doug? Wait, where's the? Yeah, the teeth. The teeth. No. <laughs> now, of the two of us, though, right, gang, of the two of us, wouldn't you think she would be more wicker like than me? Like, it's the opposite. This is why it's good. We're, you, you think that we're going to agree? We don't. Mm -mm. I always Suck teeth. No, I would not her. sit in a wicker chair and watch Kiss Me Kate. No, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> The good thing about a wicker chair is that it has holes in it, so when you pass gas, it goes right through. <laughs> <laughs> I just sold one to Steve. Yes, yeah. you did. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. All right. Any takers? Any takers? I think we are going to pass on this. All right. We're going to go to Angie. Hey, guys. Okay, so my next one. Blondie, the Bumstead family history. I know that uh, a lot of the younger crowd isn't going to know Blondie, but for us, we know Blondie. Um, this gives you, it's, it's kind of like a coffee table book, but it gives you, let's show you what the, the dust jacket's in great shape. That's what it looks like just without the dust jacket. 
I will give a little tip for those of you that don't know Blondie. Not the cartoon series, but the television series Blondie can be seen on YouTube mm -hmm. from season one, episode one forward. And it's wow. interesting to see the point of view of men and women at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, the roles, I should say. And the comedy is a lot of slapstick. And what's your start price? $5. A dogwood sandwich, exactly. Yep. We so what's cool about model. this is it goes through their whole life. From the time they got together, through his job, through the the, everything. So we have the baby and little girl. I think their baby was like a cupie, the way they showed it. Well, we can get to family and see. See, Doug, I mean, it gives you a ton you of comics. A ton of the comic strips are in here. Um, let's see. Go to family. Let's see. Alexander. Maybe that's their son. Yes, that's their son. So let's see. They don't, show a, they don't show him as a baby. And then Cookie. Don't show baby. Looking for the baby ones, but they're just their teens. Your baby would usually be shown in a pram, which is the old style of carriage with like the yeah. one girl sticking out of the little bonnet. Yeah, it just goes to the kids, but it goes to the kids as a like young adults. We have them now in Jersey, upstate. Lynn, I know you're South Jersey, but we have them. They're called fat, fat sandwiches, which will be like cheesesteak plus chicken strips plus french fries plus gravy like like a million freaking things on a sandwich they call a fat sandwich okay never heard of that i've had one it's gross so it just shows now this goes through their kids and then of course it goes through his jobs So it goes through their whole, yeah, it's candy. It goes, oh. And then it goes into her, her job, what she did. So, I mean, this is the whole history of the story. Great cartoons in here. Absolutely cartoon, cartoon, awesome cartoons. In oh, cool. Well, this shows all the interesting information about the artist. And again, just filled with comic strips. Just filled with them. And then their 75th anniversary. They look really good for 75 years. I'm just saying. 75 years old and they look that good? Awesome. So KJ says that he also did Beetle Bailey. Oh, okay. Oh, I, like cool. that. I like that cartoon strip, too. Thanks, KJ. That's very cool. So, and then again, it gives you more history on the auth or the artist, the comic, how he grew up, what he did. Blondie consistently ranks among the top five most popular comics in newspaper polls around the world. That is that. Um, I did not see a. Uh, I did not see a copyright. Oh, here we go. This is still doesn't say. It just says. Um, well, it says two thousand and seven is the is the in memory of. So it's got to be after 2007 then, because it says in memory of 2007. But yeah, there's no copyright on here that I can. Find. I used to love <laughs> the Sunday paper coming with, the, with yeah. the three and four page of comics and my dad leaving it on the side for me when I would get up because he would get up earlier and have his coffee and be so excited to wander into the kitchen. And there were some I either didn't like or I didn't get like they were the, the jokes went over, over my head yeah or I didn't follow it long enough 
to understand the storyline, but there was one pathetic soul. Her name was Kathy, and she was like a single girl and just like oh yeah. Like she just had no luck. Like yep, Kathy, I remember the best. I love Kathy. Kathy. Yeah, I love yeah, Kathy. Kathy. Love this every week in her wicker chair. Yep, I, oh, I remember right. that one. We are passing on that. Right. And just a reminder, there is no speed round tonight. So if you want to go back mm -hmm. and see if you're mm -hmm. interested in grabbing anything that we have passed on um, before the end of the sale, go ahead and let us know. Um, I have got a $3 start on another deck of cards. Mm -hmm. This one is oops, Dogs of the World. And so let's see, the Joker, every, every card is a different dog. And so we'll go through, I'll show them all. Hi, baby! Chihuahua. Alamoy. Yep. Oh, cute. These are adorable. I do not know my dogs. I love, I... Especially when they I'd have up. I'd have a dog, but the executive producer does not want to have to go outside and clean up poop, so he won't let me get a dog. Uh huh. Well, if, if Tom wasn't on it with the baby wipes and stuff, we wouldn't have one either. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling that out. Of a the hug. Place. I love pugs. They're so cute. I think a pug is a dog that you either love that love. face or are creeped out by the face yep i agree yep i think the most popular dog around my like friend group neighborhood group is a lot of retrievers like golden retrievers <laughs> black retrievers like a lot of people have that dog huh. around here i see a lot of labs a lot of brown labs yeah, black labs that dog labs. Too. Hi, That's Uncle cool. Andy. Nice to see you. Hello, Uncle Andy. Nice to meet you. Hey, Uncle Andy. I'm so sorry, Uncle Andy. Good to see you again. On the Sue Spees Yo Show. Oh, yep. So oh, that one's you. my favorite. The Leon Burger. People don't I believe don't like, me when I when I, I say the like Leon Burger. The kind it's of dog real. that always has its tongue out, like, <sighs> like that grosses <laughs> me out. Thank God, yeah, he I don't keeps like his tongue in his mouth. I mean, even though he does take it out, the little, yay, he's I like those. KJ's at three. Um. If you were to get a dog, just, Andy, what would I it did be? Not Oh my goodness, what kind of dog would I get if I could? I don't know because there's so many I'd want. Really? I like I like the fuzzy well, ones. Nice. You like a fuzzy dog. Like a bird. Like, yeah, like I'd want like I don't know. I don't know. That would be it so hard. A complete, to is a complete deck. I think KJ's at three. Yeah, I just, I didn't highlight that. Yeah, sorry, oh, okay. KJ's over on Aaron's channel, so you can't, you can't quite see him, but, um, but thank you, Lisa. Uh, but KJ did come in first, and yeah, each one has got, oh, and then here is the back, so you get Very cool. the dogs, oh, and amazing. Uncle Andy is at four. Yeah, I do not know my dog breeds. But I could tell you, little Tony for 14 pounds, he's a monster. And he barks down every dog he passes, like to try and intimidate. And Tom's like, you realize they could eat you. Like, <laughs> all little dogs do that. Yeah. All of them. And the big dogs lay down in submission. Ciao, when he comes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Hi, Christine. 
Hey, is Christy. there a schnauzer? Ooh, I don't know. Did we see a schnauzer? Hey, I got Dan. some fun mail from Christy. Huge dolls. Thank you, Christy. I'm going to show it on the Sue Spezio show, but thank you ahead of time. Let me see. I don't remember seeing a schnauzer. My husband said no German shepherds because his parents raised German shepherds for military and police work. So he didn't want... <laughs> yeah, I have I have a cousin who married a guy who trained. I think that I, I don't know if it's Malamar, like the marshmallow, or Malamute, Malamute, Malamute. Malamute. or Malamute. Okay. So he trained those as attack dogs. So he had the full attack suit for them. Mm -hmm. them. But I, what I found interesting because he had a pack, right? Mm -hmm. He was training one that he spoke and gave commands to each one in a different language. Yep. So one would be giving commands in German, one in French. And I was wow. like, I, I didn't get it at first, but they needed to know who he was talking to. But oh. I mean, he had absolute, absolute command over those. It was scary. It was scary. Uh, no, no <laughs> schnauzer. Sorry. No schnauzer. All right. Well, we will count those down for Uncle Andy. And Uncle Andy, if your info has changed at all, um, go ahead and send me an email. If not, um, then I will just use your info that I have on file. And going once. Going twice. And sold to Uncle Andy. Thank you. All right. And we'll go back to Aaron. All right. For $3, I'm going to do this amazing man right here in this wonderful cabinet card that the uh, corner piece was tipped off for three dollars and again good size ears his uh hair is he does his hair or his head is a little lopsided and there's no information on the back And doesn't say where he's from or where the but picture was taken. That his head that he could donate to a couple of other pictures of guys that are so <laughs> short on hair. This guy's got an abundance of hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he got like a uh, chain, probably like a little pocket watch. Of trained him in Klingon. Probably the only one here that knows how to speak Klingon is Trisha. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Start learning. Start learning. Because you want to not, you know, Denise probably knows Pig Latin, and we're not going to be able to talk behind her back unless we like <laughs> we have some way to communicate without Denise knowing what the heck we're saying. Klingon is the winner. So, pretty good cabinet card here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, like right. Any white. takers? Any no, uh, takers? I know, I know uh, Sue doesn't like the mustache, but hey, no. you got a good mustache there. No, but I like the white on white on the, on the, on the, on the and I like a pocket watch. So, I do like those things. All right. Well, I think we are going to pass on him. All right. And we'll go back to Angie. All right. My next uh, one is a lot of three. They are postcards. They are quite large, though, postcards. They're not regular size. And so I'm starting this at $2 for the three of them. They say Vista Color and then stuff in Spanish that I don't understand. So that's what they look like on the back. These are very big. Um, they are... Eight and a half by five and a half. 
And so you've got this one, which says the Villa de Guadalupe. It's the Shrine of the Virgin of Guadalupe. And then this one is the Palace of Fine Arts, Cultural and Artistic Center. And these are all in Mexico. And this one is Mexico's largest cathedral, cathedral and is located in the main square. So these are all pictures of beautiful buildings in Mexico. Where in Mexico? I don't know. I've never been there. So it is a $2 start for the three of them. They are very, very large. They are not regular postcard size. Isn't that beautiful? I would love to go see that. That is so gorgeous. Well, definitely an older picture. The, clo the clothing that people are wearing is definitely like 70s, 80s. The cars look like. Oh, cool cars. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but probably 70s. People there too. There we go. That one focused. Cars back there. So I'd say 70s or 80s. These are probably from Mexico City. Kathy says Mexico City. Okay, they're from Mexico City. It just says Mexico DF. I didn't know what DF meant, like downtown or something. So two dollars for the three large postcards. Well, it looks like there's no takers on okay. those. So we Thank will. Thank you for have. letting me show those. Okay. And I've got a $4 start on a pair of pictures. And it's the same girl. Oh, cute. Just two different pictures. I guess I should do it like this so you can see you can see all of the ones standing. So on this one looks like she is sitting down. And then this one Looks like she's writing a letter. <laughs> and the pictures are a four by two and a half. And then the cardboard is a little larger. So a nice little pair. Nothing written on the back. I don't know who she is or um, or where she's from. But we've got four dollars for the pair. Cute, cutesy, cutesy. All right, we will pass on those and we're going to go back to Aaron. All right, so now I have a cabinet card of this beautiful young lady here and her lovely, lots of beautiful hair and a, and a little bun. Oh, I don't want to say a bun and a bush type of thing. And on the back of here, the studio was in Washington, D.C. and Atlantic City, New Jersey. And here on the back, it says mother, and her name is Anna Jackie Merlo. And it says she died May 
15th, 1973, at the age of 86, and I'm starting this off at $5. At the age of 86, and so I would say she looks like she could be around 40 here. You would say, right? So this was probably in taken in 1930, or was no 1920. And she has this beautiful necklace, heart necklace. Maybe even be a a, a, a locket. Eighteen senior pictures, and the photo. I can't see where that is. Oh, in Philadelphia too. So Philadelphia, D.C., and Atlanta City, New Jersey. Well, that is a lovely photo. And do we have any takers on it? We'll give you guys a chance to jump in. But if not, um, we will pass on that. All right. And we'll go to Angie. Hey, guys. Okay. My next one. Another coffee table book, The Grand Old Opry, History of Country Music, 70 Years of Song, Stars, and Stories. There now, you go, Sue, just for you. What, what, what <laughs> went through my head? What went through my head? Come on, psychic reading. <laughs> Not a snowball snowball on that. My worst nightmare. <laughs> I don't want to go on this field trip. No. <laughs> $50. I mean, no, five dollars. $5. There is a rip, is what I was gonna say. There is a oh, rip. Starting at you are $5. not having any country music. Okay, I'll just flip and it some open for country a music singers with no shirt on and a big belt buckle and jeans are welcome. <laughs> right, Doug? But the cowboy sing. hats. They can have a cowboy. Hat. They can't sing. There's no. There's no country singing. Oh, okay. Put our sunscreen on. So this is just the history of the Grand Old Opry. No singing allowed. Now it's but, funny it's called the Opry, but they don't do opera, right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm sure there's a story behind that. I don't know what it is. I've been there's there. I was there once when I went to Nashville for a business trip. No tie <laughs> That's right, Jen. No tights. I don't think there's anybody in tights in this, so we're safe. Got to see what happens with the crowd next week when they come back with the reports. I kiss me, Kate. But the cool thing about this is just all the history. It talks about the history of the, um, the Ryman and the buildings around it. And there's Elvis. And just the history of um, how it happened, how the Grand Old Opry came to be. Because it was a church when it first started out. Well, wow, talk about a big revival church. Yep. <laughs> That's huge. Yep. Well, and they've added so much onto it now. The huge, the museums in there and the walk, the cir circle of fame, walk of fame, whatever it's called. So five dollars there is a little tear on the dust jacket but the book itself is in beautiful condition yeah <laughs> can't be i'm opening my okay, there's a nice picture of dolly but i'm not going to show it that's a little bit too much um way too much yeah 
the history of the women in country music. But along the bottom here, you'll see this orange strip. That's a timeline, and it'll go through everything that's happening in each one of those years of Patsy what was Cotton. going on. Is her name? Huh? I think I'll probably think of the uh, the, one of the lady uh, ladies country singer, Patsy Cotton. Cotton is that one of one of Patsy the ladies? Patsy Klein. Patsy Klein. Klein. That's what it is. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> She's probably in here. I didn't see her, but I'm sure she is. I do like the song Crazy, but for other reasons. Oh. <laughs> you come so there you go. They insert the words with my, my Prozac every month. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any takers All right. for the book, let us know. Let us know. That is mine. All right, I have got a two dollar picture. What a bargain! What do you got? And it, it even has their name on it. Oh, wow! The Orkney family, okay, with one Here's dog behaving and one dog showing his butt. Simon says, hand straight. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like they're like the two girls are like exactly in the same position, and the boys just like I'm gonna touch the dog. I'm gonna <laughs> touch the dog. Maybe he's That's trying to keep the dog still. Simon yeah. says he's like trying to keep it still for the picture because that dog is it. not staying still. Look at the rundown. Oh, it's it's great. It's great. There's a cobbler cooking. You've heard twelve, and this was a uh, postcard. Mm -hmm. I got nothing, Lynn. Oh wow! I love a newsboy cap. Mm -hmm. I prefer it to a baseball cap, Doug. So just consider it. <laughs> oh hi! Oops. And there's their name written on there. All right. Oh, hi, Happy Maker. Maker. Hi, Happy Maker. All Welcome right. in and thank you. Well, we are counting this down for Happy Maker. Thank you, Doug. So going once. Going twice. Okay, that that had a going once carryover in my in my <laughs> cat there. That works. I don't it's know how that happened. So I think All that right. counts. Thank three you, times. Happy Maker. That's and a we're going back to Aaron, and this is our last round. All right. So if you want to, again, if you want to claim any of the items, we'll still we've still got more stuff to do, but um, more more fun stuff ahead. But if you want to yeah. go ahead and claim any items that we passed on, let us know. All right. So now I have a cabinet card of this cute oh, little baby. Oh, look at that chair and the baby. Oh. And this was taken in Philadelphia by Parlor Gallery. And the like the chair, the little chair almost like it's made for him. Yeah, it's adorable. Because I said him because his name is Albert, and I'm gonna start oh. this off at five dollars. And look at his little shoes. Oh, he's cute. Look at that face. <laughs> Deer and headlights. Ah. And Lisa, I am so sorry. You just missed the picture. Um, I did already count it down for Happy Maker. I so really I am sorry. It's delayed because this is the second time tonight. Lisa, you may want to go out and come in. You may want to yeah. increase your speed. Or, yeah, adjust your speed. Yeah. To, um, to uh, yeah, to, to, to advance, advance this uh, so that it's... Um, so that you're yeah, in sync with the live. There yeah, we go. You know we don't call it if anybody's in. So you're definitely just out of sync, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
14 aftershocks. I'm not feeling anything. I'm not, yeah. Well, I mean, we're in the same area. I'm not feeling anything. Let me just check my loins. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, not a darn thing. I love the chair, too. It's a real neat chair. I like the chair, yeah. Like I like the look too. They're, 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 They've got not only photography money, but they got money to have custom seating for small children. Yeah. You know, or like the, the photographer supplied the chair. Yeah. Why you gotta hate on me? Why can't I? Have a, <laughs> why can't I have a? Rich I'm, I'm just saying baron? maybe the photographer was prepared. And that's kind of crazy because didn't uh what was it Taiwan? Didn't they have a huge earthquake? Like yes, this week and and a lot. Yeah, Fiona. Fiona was in my chat this morning, and she was saying they've had. I don't even remember. It was such a large number. I don't even wow. remember how many aftershocks they've had. Wow. And some of them were were I think large. Well, when you're when you get to a seven point something earthquake, the aftershocks are like. 4.8. Wow. <laughs> I just wow. Have one while we're on the George Washington Bridge tomorrow. That will scare the life out of me. Yeah. But you know, well, the thing um, with aftershocks is like you're not going to mm -hmm. feel most of them because they're going to be like two or under or so. And those happen all the time. You don't even know it. Like if you went and Googled earthquakes in New Jersey, you would probably find. That you are that you are constantly having earthquakes. You just don't feel them. Uh, no, Fiona didn't feel it. Um, she's in Singapore. She's way too far away to have felt it. Uh, but she was following it on the news. Yeah. If you guys have never seen this movie, it's called The Impossible. It was put out in 2012, and it's a story about the tsunami that hit mm. Thailand in um 2004 nice. and the real story of a real family and how they were separated by the tsunami and then the story Old of what lisa. happened really right, congratulations lisa wow sue that's crazy yeah it's um it's got somebody big starring in it too let me just see her name all right angie what's your start price Start price six dollars. All right. It is a series of scrapbook um, magazines. Oh, how cute! Uh, this one's October 2011. It was February uh, Naomi, Watts. Naomi Watson, you and McGregor. If you want to see it. Oh, August of 2011. June 2011. So there is scrapbooking pages and card making in all of these. Um, this one is April of 2005. I know, Doug, and $35 to park the car. February uh, 2005. So you get all six of them starting at $6. Um, they are all in absolutely good condition. They are mine. I did use them. Um, and now they can go on to somebody else. I did do this one on front here. I did make this one. Aw, cool. So, um, there is great ideas in these. There's the one I did. I made that one. I did it for Valentine's Day one year. So these are from my collection. So they're in really good shape because I try to take care of my magazines because I'll reuse them. Like this one I did too. Oh, not that one. No, I can't find it. Oh, the cupcake. There it is. There it is. Oh, that's it's that page layout. That's cupcakes. So these all just come with really good ideas. Um, the easy cards for big events. There was a birthday in there all different ideas on how to use stickers. There's a summer layout. So if you are a crafter slash scrapbooker slash card maker, these give you great ideas. There we go. 
how to organize your stuff. I use both of these methods. Um, let's see what else I can show. So there you go, six bucks. So it's got Valentine idea, Valentine card ideas in here, which I know Valentine's passed, but this is the February issue. There's a scrapbook layout. Yeah, but you got to start it at some time to be ready for February. So yeah, no kidding. Sooner I get started, the better, because it takes me forever sometimes. Well, it, so, it takes a while to gather all the supplies you want to use. So yeah, starting early is a really good idea. Yep. So very six, nice seven, collection. All right, that's my last one. Thank you. All right. And I've got a $2 picture. Well, I didn't get the dollar sign in there. You guys know what I mean. Yes, we do. We this sure. is a probably a five by seven or close to. Okay, six and a half by four and a half. It's a house. I don't know where the house is. Looks like it's winter, though, because there's no leaves on the tree. Oops. But it's a nice big house. Got a nice porch. But nothing I, I written would, on the back. Say, I would say that this family probably had money too, but I'm afraid Trisha's going to tell me that it's the photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it is his house. <laughs> Could be. This is the size <laughs> house that I think of when I when I talk to um, Nancy from this overstuffed house. Mm. She was online last night just giving us a a quick update on what's going on in her her life and and i don't know if you got you guys have to know nancy from this over stuff house so she's got roofers on working now on the roof and Good. So she she was dressed in like you know a coat an overcoat a hat like she's freezing and she said this sentence which scared the crap out of me she said i just hope they can get the raccoons out soon can you imagine what raccoons what can you yeah, ra ra raccoons don't make good roommates. No, I couldn't go to sleep. There's no way. There's no way. So she stayed so calm, so calm. Yeah, I just hope they can oh, get their mercy. It's like, oh my god. All right. So I don't see any takers for the house. We'll pass on that. That's all right. And that was the last item of the sale. So we are going to go ahead job, and do the races first. You want to do those first? Yeah. But yes, you know what? They're in her attic. They can come creeping down and say, hello. Right. All right, Trisha, finish this line based on that last picture. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. Yes, yes, we matched. We matched. <laughs> I love that I'm song. Glad. I'm so glad we could end on a good note. <laughs> Your card match, my card. We're not right. the old maids at all. Right. All right. So we are going to do the member appreciation drawing. Uh, so I do this, this every a week as an appreciation for memberships on my channel. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a member, you can click the join button. Uh, it doesn't make you join. It just gives you information. Um, but this is my way of appreciating everybody who is a member and it's, and it's just fun. Um, but from the chat, I need a number because we need to shuffle, shuffle the people. <laughs> Doug, Janice. Janice Doug is always so fast with those numbers. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're shuffling four times. One, two, three. 
There's four. Go, duckies, go. You got this, guys. You got it. Go, duckies, go. Let's Sharon go. Looks a little bit like Trump. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Doesn't that duck look a little bit like Trump? Yeah, it's I would say that would probably be a little bit like Trump. Just a little bit. Who's coming up? Bonnie's coming up. Robbie's coming up. DMB. She's got on some kind of hula girl shirt. Yeah, I can't quite tell what what that costume is. No. Who's that? Denise. Denise. Looks like a parrot, maybe. A parrot. Oh, duck. there's Thomas up at the top there. He is snoring away. Snoring is like crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the when I see that, I think Wonder. Well, I thought it was yeah. I Wonder thought Woman? Wonder Woman when I first saw it. Or <laughs> like that. Oh, oh yeah, you're, you're kind of is, being, isn't it? You're a yeah. sexual being, and that's how you think, and it's okay. Oh, Jolita. <laughs> Jolita. Last last I heard from Jolita, she was heading home. So that was exciting. I, I hope she's at home sleeping and resting. <laughs> I have not run into my girl in a while. Oh, 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 she's getting tired. Uh oh. Falling back. Uh oh, Gatita, who's dressed like a clown. Oh no, Doug. Sorry, Doug. Will you lose to a clown? <laughs> Is that possible? And here comes oh, Jan. Who's, who's coming? Yes, Jan? Oh yes. my gosh. Hey Jan! Oh my gosh! She's got a good, she's got a good lead, but oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh no! Mike! It's Mike! Wow! Congratulations, Mike! Wow! The cleanest, the cleanest duck in the pack. Pure duck, nothing but the duck. My goodness, I didn't see that coming. That was good. All right, now we're doing a drawing for everyone who left a comment on a video. So this is 100% free. All you have to do is leave a comment on a video. Congratulations. Mike. And um, you get entered into the giveaway. So somebody <laughs> give me a number and I will pull that one up. Oh, wow. oh, Becky's already in with three. She knew what you're going to do. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, and then Kathy came in with two. Times. They're trying to outdo Doug. <laughs> One, two, three, and three. All right. So, everybody who left a comment on a video and the more videos you watch the more comments you leave the more entries you get lots of entries in this one this week mm -hmm. look at them go yeah, a lot Whoa. of them linda's, linda's upside down the yeah linda's <laughs> upside down <laughs> oh there's kim down at the bottom oh but here comes kim oh my vintage yeah here comes oh, yeah. kim Oh, oh, got it. Okay. oh, Kim. I thought that was <laughs> I thought that was gonna be her, but Tracy, good one. Congratulations, Tracy. Uh -huh. All right, the next one is for comments left on a live. So put a number in the chat for shuffling for comments left on a live sale. A big crowd here too. Well, Kathy, had, oh, there we go. Oh, Becky's, Becky's in again with four. So there's one. Two, three, there's four. Mm -hmm. 
So this one again, all you have to do is leave a comment on a live. The more lives you leave comments on, the more entries you get. Oh, can Sandy hold Sandy. it? Sandy. Can you hold it? 10 seconds. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, Tracy. Tracy. Oh, here comes Tracy. <laughs> Oh, again. Tracy. Tracy again. Wow. Tracy now owns a piece of Trisha's property. <laughs> <laughs> now Tracy cashed in her yeah, win. She she's starting all over. Good for her. Yeah, she's she's starting all over again. But yes, she That's cashed them in. That's how you do it. All right. So the last one is for comments left on shorts. That is the last one. And well, actually, it won't be the last last one because there's going to be one more. Uh, oh, this is the Santas. I love this. All right. I need a number. And anybody put in a number. Two, two for two. Twins. Okay. Oops. And Jan there said it is. Right. And Kathy two. said two also. Very good. We all agree. That's great. Two. Go, Santa. Go, Santa. Go. Go, Santa. Go, Santa. And Tracy, do it again. It's close. Go, 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 it's go. It's close. It's close. Sarah Lee's got I a think, little Yeah, little I little think little Sarah little Lee's little. in the lead. A little bit of, oh, here comes the back of the pack. Oh, 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 From behind. Congratulations to all the winners. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right. Now I need to get the names. <laughs> I did forget to grab those. Um, let me get it. Okay. So we have three people who entered the count the packages contest. Three people did that. And so we are going to put them in a race for the winner. And I'm pulling it up now so I can get the names in here. All right. So we have Angie. Oh, you little brown noser. Good girl. <laughs> We've got well Tracy. Done. Well done. And we've got Becky. This is your you know first time in. Gonna be in there. This is your first time in this to win this. So good luck to you. What little snack are you having? Right. Uh -huh, my snack. So somebody my give snack. me a number so I can shuffle them. Did you say raisins? Yes, raisins. Obviously not a diabetic. <laughs> 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 Raisins have lots of iron. They're good for you. you, you, you they, they, you eat them. All when right, sugar drops. You don't One, eat them. two, three, four. Who's they actually are in a different in? order than they were. So <laughs> I'm green. I'm the same color as my Jeep. Oh uh -huh. yeah, very cool. Doug, Doug's already saying you cheated. Uh. How did I cheat? I didn't do anything. Doug, I'm going to trip you, Doug. You ate raisins. They're a power food before you had to run. Mm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, now they're all tied no. up. Oh. are gross. Becky. Becky. Oh. Becky. 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 Congratulations, Becky. Nice try. So, Doug, tell me how I cheated. Huh? 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 I, I think you jumped <laughs> the gun. <laughs> All right, so all you have to do, I put a post on my community tab 
every week on my community tab, there's a post, count the number of packages from the previous week. So if you've been counting packages all this week, including my video tomorrow, you'll have the answer already <laughs> for the post. Uh, we'll do the drawing for this week, next week. So what was the last week? <laughs> so that's how that works. All right. But thank you everyone for leaving comments. Congratulations, everybody. That's awesome. And thank you, thank you everyone for your memberships. I appreciate it, which is why I do this to, to show appreciation, because I really do appreciate you guys. Um, but um, oh, I'm gonna pull up the pictures really quick. Yes. Let's look at the twins. I need to, okay, right there. And then I click on, you'll, oh, Their I first see. first appearance on the Sue's TV. I see no show. All right, here we go. I want to see them. I want to see them. They're so cool. Okay, oh. day one. Day one, Brooke on the left. A is Rosie. That's Rosie. She's our little rosebud. And B is Brooke. Brooke. That spent more than 30 days in the hospital. Oh, wow. And this is the day that they all get reunited again. So Brooke is going to go home. <laughs> that, now, She's like, you woke me for that? <laughs> now, yeah. I can't tell the difference in some of these. So... I don't know, but this is Rosie and Ravioli. Some Aww. people are freaked out by that. That's Rosie, I think. That's Rosie. I know. That's Brooke. And my son-in-law, Mike. <laughs> Ravioli. <laughs> Major side, major side. <laughs> I'm thinking Rosie. I still think this is Rosie because I don't think Brooke is back yet. That's definitely Rosie's Easter picture. Aww. If you see on that dress, it's so <laughs> precious. And then Rosie going to her dad in, on the Easter picture, screaming. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at that chair. That is Brooke. So you can tell Brooke by the pacifier because Brooke was born with a, um, a cleft palate. So that's uh, not specially designed, but more preferred use in a cleft palate baby. But they look so much alike. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know. And so Aww. this is the last one. This is the day they get reunited. Peanut butter on the left is Brooke, who's the bigger baby than Rosie, who's been home for a month. And we think it's because Brooke was on the uh, feeding tube that she 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 held on to more, more of the weight because Rosie was a little bit more of a fuss pot, pot with the uh, the feeding. But the PB and J, I freaking love this picture. That is adorable. <laughs> Today Nicole That's... punked me, so she's been doing this one. At, we've been talking like every day at like five thirty. She holds one of the babies, well, for two days anyway, and I have to guess, and I've never, I haven't gotten it right once. <laughs> <laughs> so she says tomorrow, Mama, after you see them together, she goes, there'll be like enough identifiers that you'll know. But right now, the only thing I see as an identifier is that Brooke has more hair. But when you mm -hmm. see them alone, you can't tell. So mm -hmm. they don't know. They, the doctors are thinking that they might, in fact, be identical. Um, there's uh, some genetic testing that may be happening on the ne next month or so um, for medical reasons to see if they're identical. But mm -hmm. the whole time we thought they were fraternal. So it'll be quite a surprise to find out no, that we were wrong on that too. Yeah. Uh, I get yeah. it. All uh, right. I'm so happy. Yay. I'm so happy. And then so the next thing I want to do is thank you, Christy B. Look what she's oh, here. Let me get you. Let me get you big. Aww. She's a baby 
Raggedy Ann. She's a little oh, one. Oh, and she was that's born 1989, cute. And my daughter was born in 88. So this would have been very much an age appropriate doll that I might have had in my daughter's crib in 89. So I love her. Thank Aww. you for being. But this one's for me, not for the girls. Because Nicole has been so inundated with raggedies her life. She chose not to decorate with raggedies, and I could have hooked her sister up. <laughs> oh, no. The next thing I want to talk about is those of you that don't know, I fell twice this month. And all of the uh, town departments came. Is it a coincidence that today in the mail I got, would you like to donate to the fire department? <laughs> They got your name. They got your address. Yeah, they know who you are now. Yeah, we've been to your house twice this month. You think That's you right. might want to, you know, it's the it's the fun drive. Thank you for your support. We picked you up. Can you pick us up? I mean, it's, say, it's saying it without saying it. <laughs> I don't think it's a coincidence at all. Well, took me address. They got me. Oh, I, got, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. All right, next. What do we do next? We're going to do... Let's do Song in Your Head. What song is stuck in your head this week? And I've been singing mine all week long. And I'm going to give you a little of my rendition of it. It's from the great Donna Summer. It's about the saddest song of all time. Or <laughs> one of the top ten sad songs of all time. MacArthur's Park. No. No. Left the cake out in the rain. No. I don't no, think not that it one. Because it no. took so long to bake it. And I'll never have that recipe again. Why not? Why? No. When it came out, there was no internet. What? There was no internet. So shall we sing it? Did she leave the recipe in the rain or the cake in the rain? Doug, you better be with me on this one. MacArthur's Park and the cake. That no. fell apart in the rain no. is one of the saddest songs of all time. <laughs> I've been singing it all week, and and you know it's just it, 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 she's no. um, on YouTube is her last concert, the full concert. I've been playing it and playing it, and I forgot because I haven't sang the song in so long that at the end of the song it goes into like a different tune. And then it comes back. So it's like. Um, that song you know, has to stay on your side of the island. We're going to have the extended long play. Because <laughs> there's a three minute version. And there's like a seven or eight minute version. No. And it's. How? Everything. How? Because a song the, about a cake. How do you no. have an extended version? Okay. Because you here's how you have to think about it. Everything is symbolic for sure. Okay. If you've been broken hearted once in your life, the cake is your heart. And that's heart, H-E-A-R-T. Even though I'm pronouncing it H-A-R-T, heart. <laughs> Apple, she's like, it's a metaphor. Exactly, <laughs> it's a metaphor. So the John cake is in this beautiful park. And I know you like parks because you were showing. Look at this park. Look at the waterfall. Look at the fountain. Think about the freaking cake <laughs> on the bench that she baked and it rained. It freaking rained and it melted in the dark. All the sweet green icing flowing down. Someone left the cake out in the rain. I don't think I could take it. It took so long to bake it and I'll never have that recipe again. This is like a like classic for the people who have ever suffered a heartache of songs so i may keep this for a few weeks it's that good so i okay. ask my friends okay what is your song that has been stuck in your head or that you've been whistling a happy tune to this week and i'd like to start with my friend steve <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's typing. Hold on. I don't know don't what you're freaking, what are you doing. Freaking, don't you freaking help him, Angie. Don't you no, I won't. I, I don't know what goes on in his head. I don't want to. Oh. You know. 
Oh, come on. You have any song that you think of during the week? I no. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a whole pass, Steve, because you weren't expecting me to call on you. But just know that this is something I do from time to time. And this is a question I'm going to ask every week because I love this question so much after I found it. Because the thing is, I is have the recurring music in my head. You know, like people say I hear they hear voices. Yeah, I might have a few voices, but one of them's always singing. So one's like, you got to do the taxes. You got to get your tax plan. You got to get your taxes. Done. Maybe you want to give a donation to the fire department. Someone <laughs> left the cake in. So I got to tell them all to pipe down so I can hear the song. And that's what I want to know. So now this is when the crowd throws me completely off by telling me songs that I've never heard of. So let's see what we say. <laughs> Little Lion Man by Mumford and Sons has been in my head this week. No idea. No idea. Apple, the entire off the wall. Is that Michael Jackson? Who does off the wall? He does I think Michael Jackson wall. does. I think it's Michael Jackson. Okay. I've Kathy, I've been listening to the songs of that Gavin Grady Gruppo shares. See, they don't even speak my language. Doesn't anybody I have no clue? Does anybody have like you know, any like Frank Sinatra or like Motown playing in their head. What are these songs? I like, I, I, I had I um, listen to your whistle song. I never heard it. What do you have, Aaron? Oh, I had um, um, uh, Elvis Presley, uh, Why Do Fools No, uh, I Can't Help But Fall in Love with You. I gotta Why add, Doug, I don't think man. Go for it. Go for it. Why do fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with okay, my you? Strike. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take that section out if I get a copyright strike. Oh, Apologies sorry. to everybody who watches on the replay. Yeah, seven seconds were allowed. Eight, too much. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the. And I heard the fine is only a penny. So if you need the penny. <laughs> no, no, the fine is not the penny. The fine is that for the eternity of the video, every money, all the money raised, that, that okay. amount percentage right. of that so we're goes have to, to the talk, artist. We're going to have to talk sing like I did, like it was a poem. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So let me just clarify how it's done again, in case you missed it the first three times I sang it. Someone left the cake out in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that I could take it because it took too long to bake it. All the sweet green icing falling down. <laughs> See, then it's not, it can't be a copyright strike. You could do a little bit. Mm. What else we got? Um, Brady puts out a bunch of songs on YouTube. I don't know who that is. I don't Willie either. Nelson. Sorry. What's a Willie Nelson song? The, the, oh, I think that before? that is. Willie Nelson wrote a lot of songs. Oh, yeah. 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 Very talented. Dolly Parton wrote a lot of songs that other people sing too. Patsy Klein, yeah. So you're lucky because this was the song that was in my head through Wednesday. I gotta try and do it as a poem. Now that you're gone, all that's left is a band of gold. All that's left of the dreams I hold is a band of gold and the memories what love could bring when you walked right here with me that night on a honeymoon we slept in separate rooms and it goes on i think you see a trend here of agony in the songs that i like yeah <laughs> yeah yeah How, house music anthem yeah Frankie Knuckles, Wickle song. Yeah, Apple, Apple picks songs, and then and then I go, I go listen to them, and I'm like, I don't understand what this is. No, I don't, I don't know. 
And you know, Aaron, I've ne never really been an Elvis fan, but I do, I do really love a good, a good written song, and I think that one is one of the best. Anybody else got a song in their head? Ange, Trisha? I posted it. I all week I've been getting ready for this. Uh huh. Every time I go and find something of ephemera, I go. The Sue's Fizio show. So that's when it's stuck in my head because I've been looking for, for the show. And every time I find something, I'm like, oh, the Sue's Fizio show. So that's what's been stuck in my head. There you go. Oh, Somebody's got me on. Sorry. <laughs> I, can't hate, I can't hate on that, Angie. I can't hate on it. I just, because I've been all excited about being on the show and I've been excited about finding things for it's the show. and so catchy. Yeah, it is. Oh, Rosanna, that was a good wow. one. Wow, that was a good one. Yeah, you'll be yeah. on the on the side of that. Well, a Apple, once I found out you were vegan, vegetarian, yeah, Doug and I are having steaks, and we're not eating we're not eating a lot of vegetables unless we have to. Apple doesn't <laughs> eat meat. She's with Jan. You eat no meat. There's no meat. Yeah, no. Doug and I eat meat. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, I'm I'm gonna say um, just like heaven by the Cure. Okay. Oh, chicken know. and turkey. Can you give me a little bit of the lines in a poem form. You you can look it up afterwards. What a brat! Get those freaking teeth out, little brat, <laughs> little freaking brat. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Oh, you eat chicken and turkey. All right, then you can come. Apple's gonna have sleepovers then. Because Apple's gonna be the because her name is Apple Martini, we're counting on her to make the cocktails, right? Doug, she's gonna do the because I don't know. Denise would probably give us like insulin and stuff. We don't know what she would put in the <laughs> Like this'll knock this'll knock the two of them out. It's still protein. All right, I'm 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 good with that. I'm good with that. As long as you don't put your nose up at me and Doug having steaks. Yeah, we'll have chicken. On, yeah, exactly. All right. So the other game we've been playing is <laughs> Trisha's tattoo and what it might be. And yeah. we're on the letter M this week, so you can start to um, put your M words in. We're all um, gosh, we're already up to M. We're up mm -hmm. to M. My M word for the week would be um, meatballs because I don't like them. I don't either. You know what? What? <laughs> I did. I, I I was okay with them till some reason how till I found out how they make them and then I didn't like them no more. Because why? How I, how do you think they make them? Yeah, what part I of it? Just they, I thought, but you put like I guess the kind of the, like they use a like jelly to kind of hold it together or something like that. No. Nobody told me how to do it. No. No, 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 no. Okay, you watched a bad video. Yeah. 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 No. Very bad. Very bad. Because there is a very bad video that Apple just sent about chopped meat. That it does involve what you're saying. But that is not how meatballs are made. I just don't like them. No. So that would be my No. Opinion. Meat, breadcrumbs, um, egg. egg whites. Yep. No, the whole egg, Trisha. The whole that's egg, well. Um, grated cheese, parsley. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that that holds them together. The thing that grosses me okay. out, Aaron, is people's hands oh. forming balls. Because yeah. I, I I skeeve everybody's hands. I only don't. What if well, they, I mean, what it's if cook they it. wear gloves? I think it's, yeah, I mean, you cook it. I I'd think it's going to kill I'd everything that was on it. I'd have to have proof. I mean, I eat Tom's because I watch the hand washing and I supervise. Um, and I only like them fried. Don't put sauce on them. No. Fried meatball, yes. Sauce on a meatball, no. So that's my M word. While you guys are putting <coughs> in your M words, I'm going to tell you what we have so far. A through L. Autopsy, Baba Duke, Cannibal, Deadpool, Exorcist, Flying Monkey, Guillotine. I like saying that one because I, I feel French. Honey Badger, Incantation, Jello, kale, and Doug. She picked your word last week. That's why I wanted her to give it before you went. She picked Lucifer. 
I did. So your word. I did. So no There's lots of good M words coming in. They're not done. Keep them coming. So yeah, but you. no, nobody yet has said the one that's in my head. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell I'm a story about think. the letter M while we're while the friends are playing. So I've been watching season seven of a very famous show from stars called outlander oh it's a, it's terrific and it's actually a, a, somebody a, did sorry hold, outlander hold, hold just about outlander and it's it's a, about the ability to time travel and it's particularly about a family and it's particularly about two periods of time before the civil war in the colonies and in scotland and then in current time in Scotland and in Boston, Massachusetts. In the old time, the daughter who has lived in both the old time and the new time says to her father, who's only from the old time, she makes a reference to Mickey Mouse. And he says to her, you know, what is this mouse you speak of, basically, you know, like in a Scottish accent, which I can't do. So he says, why do people love, he, she goes, it's a magical place. Disneyland is a magical place. There's Mickey Mouse there. And he says, I don't understand. Why would anyone want to go to a place with a mouse? So she goes, no, dad, it's, it's like a man in a costume and he's dressed like a mouse and it's really loving. And yeah, that makes it better. He's trying to explain to someone from, you know, the 1700s. Disneyland and Mickey Mouse. So now fast forward to a few more episodes in, the part of the family needs to come back to the present day. And the little boy who only knows the old time, has never been to the present day, is told by his grandfather, I'm going to miss you, boy. And let me know if you run into a mouse named Michael, give him my regards. Michael. <laughs> I just that was such brilliant <laughs> writing. Um, if you run into a my mouse named Michael, I just love it. So if those of you that don't watch that show, that's on stars. There's going to be eight seasons in total. We're on season seven. It's really good. I don't get um, stars. But I have watched like three... Clips three seasons or so because they were on Netflix, I think. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. The one thing I noticed, because it's been more than a year since I saw season six and seven, and now that I'm in season seven, I realize like a recurring thing is the lead character and the male character being in some kind of dilemma and calling out each other's name. So Throughout the show, you hear Claire, you know, but I can't do what is you know, Scottish accent. And she says, Jamie. <laughs> so last night I counted because I have OCD at least 14 times. They called each other's name. Claire, <laughs> like, that's when the writers <laughs> fail. You know, it's too much. Stop. And there's a lot of kissing. There's, a, there's also a lot of lovemaking. And there is some nudity, but it's not not graphic and they're not wearing a cup under their kilt no. and no. believe it or not the male lead is a redhead and i don't really go for redhead men men but i'd be all right with him i could do it if i have all to. right should we go through the list of what we've it's got fine. so far I think the m's have come oh start from the top girl all right we've got morbid mortician Ooh. Menacing, Murder Bowl, uh, Morticia Adams, Mummy, Meatless Meatloaf, <laughs> <laughs> Macabre, uh, Mortal Kombat, Marsha Brady, <laughs> Male, <laughs> Morg, Martian, Mucus. <laughs> Who wrote mucus? I can't go back. <laughs> Mailbox. <laughs> Who wrote mucus? Murder. I got it was you. Murder bowl. <laughs> Mush. 
uh, Monster, Monster Mash, Mickey Mouse, Misfits, Masochist, Milkshake, Morbid. I guess for those who are lactose intolerant, that could be yes, bad. Yes, it's bad. I am. Morbid, Massive, Monster, Maggots, Mac and Cheese, <laughs> Mulligan Stew, Mummy, Mesmerism, Monkey, Malevolent. Wow, so many M's. Mausoleum, <laughs> Madame Latricia, <laughs> uh -oh. Marshmallow. <laughs> this one, I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. saying. <laughs> Mystery, Mosquito, Master of Doom, Monsters, Mollocks, uh, Marth, uh, Moth, Marshmallow Man, and Master of Puppets. All right, guys. We're, we're, we're seeming to repeat a bit. So I'm going to go up to the winner. Don't yell at the chatters. They need to repeat. They can repeat. Hit the mic. Yeah, nobody's like studying the board. Okay. They're not studying the board to make sure that it hasn't been given before. They're not forming the, the answer that. in the form of a question. You and don't know Becky, that. And Becky, <laughs> I have turned on her hormones because I've never even heard Becky talk like this. She said, Jamie, who is the male character in Outlander, is hot. And I don't expect sentences like that to come out of my Becky. Well, it's not about, it's not about, tenting, it's about, not about hobnail. And it's not about glass. This was shocking. So well, this is a different <laughs> Becky. Oh, Becky okay. Becky Hinton. Uh, it's a different Becky. 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 But even her is though. Well. My... All right. <laughs> and, and the winner is, because this is what I had in my head, Mortician. All right. Congratulations, All right. All right. All right back good. to back winner. So I want wow. to remember for next week because I don't think I, I clarified this. Because we're naming a tattoo, your word should be something that could be drawn. Right? It would have to be something that we could draw as a tattoo. You can so, draw mucus. <laughs> Might not be the prettiest tattoo. Super late. You look like cloud or mucus. Your husband comes out half naked. That's right. A monopoly he had a, mortician. He had a shirt on. I can't figure out how to pay a dollar ninety nine to ship me something. Now I throw you a fifteen dollar purchase. Hello, you can now slip it in between the books. And you don't have to pay any extra for it, Steve. Okay? It's not two trips now to the to the post office. It's one. <laughs> when, is, when is this girl coming back? Because I gotta be prepared. I wasn't prepared tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love when you guys are on. I really do. And I just knocked off I just knocked off YouTube. All right, let me get YouTube back. Let me get, get the new internet back. Oh, I think she likes us. <laughs> if we don't drive her, if we don't drive her nuts first. <laughs> no, no I, 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 I love that Trisha has started to invite friends because it gives me more people to play with. I mean, I have abused Trisha and Aaron for two years. <laughs> uh, and now I love that I could spread the love a little wider. A little bigger of a net. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, otherwise I'm going to start to repeat stories. <sighs> <That one. laughs> All right. Now, let's see. All right. I'm on the show. Now let me go to the 160 first eight questions. 160 <laughs> first eight questions. We are up to 150, I think. I don't know what the hell we're going to do when I run out of this game. But we'll figure it out when we get there. All right, last week's question we ended on. We actually ended on 150 last week. What's something you're interested in that most people wouldn't expect? And your answer was Monopoly. Mm -hmm. Mine was the zits of the cyst popping. Aaron <laughs> was, he likes to watch ants travel through sand. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The ant farms. The ant so farms. Interesting. You were not here with us last week. What? What? You and Steve, you can answer this question, and then we'll go on to the next for everybody, which is. Um, What's something that you're interested in that most people, and don't say cats, because that we know, that, <laughs> <laughs> that most people um, Oh, he's typing. Wait, I haven't even thought about it yet. He's like typing. He's got an answer for you, Sue. Yeah. Okay, what okay. is it? Oh, yeah, you. All that science fiction stuff What's I don't understand. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I needed some new blood. I was getting stale quantum physics okay well i think they already i think you guys already know this that i played lady stillwell that i love to dress up in renaissance dresses and play lady stillwell and oh yeah i have a beautiful velvet queen's dress a was, i don't know who lady stillwell is it's my character my persona when i dress up okay um, does steve do it too yes what is he? Dress. He doesn't wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clarify that right away. Is he wearing tights? Nope. Nope. He won't wear tights. He wears What's his, just. What is his character's nope. name? Rhinothrock. Or do you yeah. still go by Rye? Or do you want to. Sure. Yeah. Rhinothrock, which to me is the weirdest name, but whatever. Well, that's okay, a no. Come, come say hi. Come say hi. We're done with the auction. Come on. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You could come oh, home. You want a chair? Are you on a knee? This is not a good idea. Yes. You got to get to a stool. Okay. And no. by a stool, I don't need to be poo poo. Because if you're on your knee, this means you may not be able to pleasure my friend later because you'd be hurt. <laughs> so we don't want any kind of knee pain oh. at all. Oh, no. we, we don't, you're not engaging her again. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try well, and show us a picture of you and late as lady still. I'm trying to find one. So um oh, last time I got my knee, we wound up married. So I, I don't know. know. <laughs> um I'm trying to find the one oh, picture wow. of us in the oh from St. Louis. They're not no, St. Louis. Um office supplies, and that's what Jam likes too. Jam likes office supplies. <laughs> Apple likes crime and autopsy shows. I don't know so if they're going to be able to see you that. like that show Quantum Leap where he jumped through time all the time into a oh, different stuff. I've, I've seen it. All right. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, I, I, but that is. Oh. That right. is me in my dress. Oh, can you oh. make her bigger, Trisha, so we oh, can see? Yep. Yep. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh my. Ooh. Did you have it made? Yeah, I had it made by. Um, a woman who's the dressmaker at Thornton Castle in the United Kingdom. Nice. Oh yeah, that was that was my Christmas birthday everything <laughs> gift for about yeah. one year. <laughs> so now, do you wear a corset under that? Ugh. Yep. And does Steve tie you in? Yep. Bra or no bra? No bra. Oh God, not with the corset. Not with the corset. And where do, you one you. where do you go? Fridays. Applebee's, where, where are you hanging out? These we go to, um, <laughs> well, let's see, we go Bristol Renaissance Fair, Janesville Renaissance Fair, Stronghold Castle. Um, well, we went to that, what was that place in Schomburg? Oh, um, was it? That's what I'm trying to find the picture from. Yeah, Do you need help when you have to pee medieval in old times. Time? medieval times. Does he have to come in to the to the um to the handicap stall to lift all that material so you could pee? Oh, no, no, it's awesome. No, because I have a hoop skirt on. I uh -huh. have learned to adjust the hoop skirt just the right way. So I don't need any help. Can you demonstrate that on a future show? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would be Trisha approved. Well, we'll make a YouTube <laughs> short on that. Yeah, we should make a YouTube video of it, right? How to potty outside of the home, okay? This would be very important. <laughs> Remember, the last time I left the house. I had to poop in a porta potty. Do you remember? Oh, that didn't I won't even do that. No, not with my dress on. No, I didn't have a choice, Miss. Ugh. I didn't have a choice. It was poop my pants or poop the potty. It was the worst. Oh, one that's awful. You poor I'd thing. Oh, that'd be terrible. Fire. Wasn't that the in Scott May? Bakula version? That's the version I watched too. I like Scott Bakula. For 
Lady McAngie. Oh, no. Oh. New, um, medieval Times. Oh. So that's a show that you go to see. Or are you in the show where you go dress? No, I'm, we're not in the show. We went We went to it because oh. we wanted to see it. And you went dressed. So a, there's a really nice picture of me in my dress, him in his outfit. So, like, because you're the only people that are dressed in the audience, are people stopping you and saying, can we take our picture oh, with you? All the time. Yeah. Get that. Um, oh, Other people do dress oh, up. Oh, the, the, the bearable. I've been to the table time three times. I've never seen anyone dressed up. Really? That oh, yeah. Wisconsin? Yeah, Wisconsin. Schomburg. Well, or Schomburg, Illinois. Yeah, Schomburg, Illinois is the one we've been to. Okay. Which one of you two freaks brought it into the marriage? <laughs> we met it. <laughs> we met at the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bristol Renaissance Fair. That's Susan, where we met. if you heard <laughs> our story and how we met, you would die laughing. It's it's just <sighs> really weird. It's yeah. very, very weird. How All right. That. Listen, kids. I'm willing to bypass the next question because no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I want to know Lady Macbeth and Sir Arthur at a Renaissance fair <laughs> across the muddy floors. Where is that what picture? Happened? This is driving me crazy. What happened? How did it happen? <laughs> you tell well, it then. Oh, no, you're you're going to tell it way faster than I will. I'll talk her ear off. Yeah, tell me so, the short version. It's midnight. Okay, so the short version is, I was previously married. I would go as cosplay with my ex-husband. He was a single guy. He was going. And uh, my ex-husband was found above the swordsman shop with another woman. I was pregnant. Hmm. So that, the, 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 that the started day, the divorce. The day you met Steve, this happened or no? At, no, this at, happened like, no, no. before at, that. Okay, so I there's, knew trauma, him. there's trauma and love associated with the Renaissance Fair. Yes. Yeah. That was above was, the swordsman shop. Was she dressed yes. up too? Uh, oh yeah, he was. Okay. So so I knew of him. Like he was one of the the people that we all hung out with in the big group, but I didn't know him personally. I was just like, yeah, okay. And then um, so I was pregnant and he came up to me and he's like, well, I, should I do my voice? Should we? My late, okay, my lady, you're with child, and I said, "I, I am with child," and he said, um, "Let." Yeah, I said, "He, he, like, do you need anything?" Blah blah blah, and I said, "Yeah, I need water." You have to give me water for bed. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so he decided to walk me through the Renaissance Fair to go get water, and one of the swordsmen came up to us and he said, "My lady, you are with child." I said, I, I am with child. And he, and this must be the proud father. And you lost character. Oh, yeah. You totally dropped character. He's like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's no oh, yeah. paternity testing at the Renaissance Fair. No, no there wasn't. No. <laughs> but you wound up adopting that baby. Who knew? That's yes, right. He did. Yes, I did. Knew. <laughs> so it was serendipitous. The fact that you met and speaking in tongues is my favorite <laughs> point. So yeah, so then I ended up divorcing my husband and several months later I was Haley was about two two months when I went through the divorce with my husband, my ex-husband, and I needed a computer guy because I needed my computer fixed and of course I was I had a new baby and I was not working and it was a big mess because of my ex. And my my one of my best friends says, "Oh, I know there's a guy from the Renaissance Fair that does computers. I'll talk to him and see if he can stop over." I was like, "Okay, cool." And yeah, so then there was a knock on my door. It was a Tuesday afternoon, and it was him. All right, I'm and just I gonna, was like, "I'm just going to edit you for 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 future renditions of the storytelling. Some parts can be left out, like it was Tuesday." Unless it's going oh, to be yeah, relevant. Okay. Unless it's going to be relevant. Well, no, it, it is. No, it's a specific reason I have to tell you it's okay. Tuesday. All right. Okay. I just, There's I'm a just, specific you know, reason edit, I added it. Okay. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, it's you. He's like, yeah, I remember you and all this. And so he's working on my computer. And I said the stupidest thing, Sue. I said, why are you here on a Tuesday? Don't you have a job or something? Oh. <laughs> Dang. Great. Uh -huh. yeah. And he... And he, as a gentleman, says, um, it's my birthday. I take my birthday off every year. 
and I just decided to spend the day fixing your computer. And I felt like this big, and I felt like I stuck my foot in my mouth. And um, he says, your computer needs a printer. It needs this. It needs that. He says, let's go over to Best Buy. Let's see what we can get. I said, okay. And I'm feeling again this big, you know. We find the computer. We find what I need. We get it. And then we go back to the apartment. He sets the computer up. He gets it working. He's like, now you can do a resume. You can do this. You can do that. Fine. He says, you want to go for dinner? And me being the naive idiot, I'm like, um, I have a baby and I can't afford dinner and I can't afford a babysitter. So um, I'm really sorry, but I can't afford to give you a birthday meal or anything. So he's like, um, excuse me, I'm the gentleman. I pay for the meal. And what do you think? We're going to go out without your daughter? And I was like, okay, you're way too nice. You're not like the other guys I've ever dated. Okay. So we went to Culver's, which is like a Midwestern like fast food joint. Okay. We sat and talked. My daughter slept in her car seat the whole time we were there. Morphine? She's never been quiet. She's since. never been quiet in her life, <laughs> this kid. And so then um all of a sudden we're eating or we're done eating. We're talking. No, we're just talking. And the, the lady comes over to the table and says, Ma'am, we are um, excuse me, we closed a half hour ago. Could you please leave? We oh. never even noticed how dark it was getting. <laughs> So that's how it started. Yeah. And then we dated and we married um, nine months after we, that day, that Tuesday, that, that was his birthday. We married nine months after. And uh, yeah, we've been together ever since 22 years. We've got my daughter and our son there. I tried to make it as fast as I could. Sorry. You did a beautiful story, much better than the Sue Spezio 160 questions. I loved it. I love <laughs> getting to know everybody because you don't really get to know people when they're just selling and you know, mm -hmm. people are in history and just, that's a beautiful story. And I, I love and that. You're the only one, Sue, that can get him on screen. He will not go on screen any other time. I'm special. I like, come on, come on. No, nope, yeah. I don't want to. And then he does yeah. it for you. Yeah. That's because I'm kegling. You feel it? <laughs> <laughs> or there was an aftershock. I can't be. <laughs> as long as I don't have to wear tights, it's okay. <laughs> I just, I, I think the part of the story that I love the most is that you you first spoke to each other in character. I think that's uh -huh. really oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah, because he was an outlander, so you shouldn't have mixed with Noble, anyways. No, but you did because yeah. you saw that I was sitting by myself. Yeah. But oh, God, it all worked out really well. Yes, I've been stuck did. with you for 22 years now. It's not been too bad. Yeah. I am the first dog. Do you believe this? Someday we'll talk about the proposal. Yeah. That's another day, though. I'll take that story for the proposal on the next time. Okay, the next okay. one will we'll tell you how he proposed to me, Let's which was also question, pretty funny. Then. Let's do a question. Um, okay, good. Oh. Sorry. What is your favorite quote or saying? So, when I smoke cigarettes... My favorite quote or saying would be "Smoke them if you got them." <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was what Smoker said. Smoke it if you got it. You know, smoke it if you yeah. got it. I don't know if I have one now. There's a lot of good sayings. Trisha or, or, or Aaron, you guys got favorite quotes? Um, give me a second. What the thing going to have, have to be no. <laughs> I love it, Trish. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> I think, though, no, Trisha, to be accurate, it's really two words for you. I think it's, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I also think, like, what are the ones that people say that aggravate you? Like, you know, like, you know. Oh, oh bro. It drives me nuts. <laughs> what you doing, these. bro? Where are you, bro? I'm like, first of all, I'm not your bro. And second of all, what do you mean? Like, what is, what's the point of that? Have you met Janice? <laughs> Janice thinks she can get away with it, with, with, with the twist. And she says, bro. Bro. That? That's even worse. It's even worse. <laughs> And when it comes out of Geneve's mouth, it looks re 
ridiculous, but you will give it. <laughs> so I called her out on it. I was like, you not have the gullionis to say, bro, no, <laughs> you're not cool enough. She goes, be easy, I'm saying it, I don't care. But they all um, say it nowadays, and I don't, are they saying brother? Is that what that's supposed to mean? I I have no idea. Me neither. Yeah. I don't get it. Oh, all I want to say is pull your pants up. I don't want to see you receive underwear. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I oh, tell well. you that. All, I tell you to zip up all the time and pull up and all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Or just know. put your pants on before you go outside. Oh, it's no big deal. <laughs> it is a big deal. The neighbors, <laughs> they don't was, care. It warmed up. You, like 30, you don't know what outside, he does so. when you're not around. I don't, oh, so like, I don't know if I want to know. The ring camera of your neighbors knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. That's who knows. There's no secrets. Don't go oh. one. If you're going through hell, just keep going. That's right. There you go. Yep. Don't stop along the way. Winston Churchill. Oh, yes, yeah, mm. Sarah. The rape of Claire. Yeah. I mean, there's never a good rape scene in every in any film, so I agree. That was horrible to, to get through those episodes. I agree. Um, I don't like the grass is always green, not always greener. That one drives me oh, crazy. Oh, that's that, yeah. Um, oh, you know, yeah. Like, um, it'll all be all right. It may not be. There's um, a variation on the gr green grass one I like. The grass is always greener over the septic tank. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big supporter of um, the support groups that have the serendipity prayer and and. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the sentence that they say at the end. Something like it says something like it works if you work it. It works if mm -hmm. you work. It. And I don't translate that into my life at all. It doesn't work for me if I work it because I fake it. So if you fake it, you can work in it. So like that, I mean, I, I get the program. Okay. You know, and no negativity about the program or anything about it. But that particular sentence would be like, not for me. Not for me. The one that I hate the most is, are you working hard or hardly working? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, work hard, not, not work smart, not hard. Yeah, with that one too. Yeah. Smart, not hard. I made the biggest mistake work today. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're talking inside with your boss and stuff on an email and you're saying stuff inside on the email and then you, you're getting direction of what you're supposed to do and then you're supposed to send an email externally and erase that internal conversation. Oh no, Sue. <laughs> oh I, no. It's never happened to me before. It's 27 years, never happened before. It has to happen six weeks before I'm out the door. And it was not an internal conversation that should have. Oh, that's not good. Here, you <laughs> sit on the chair. I'm going to get. Uh, I didn't know the recall, like how to recall a, a message. So I quickly called the millennials. I was like, I've had messages recalled. I've seen that happen to mm -hmm. me when someone would like to recall their message, but their message is still there. So I'm like, all right, let me recall it. So I don't know whether the guy got the message and is just being cool about it because I recalled it and then I resent it without the internal stuff. <laughs> oh my You'll God, find not. out on Monday. <laughs> well, he, already, he already replied. Oh. And stupid i'm getting like i'm getting i don't know if i'm getting sloppy i'm getting I don't know. maybe he just went you know what what they're saying is true and and we're just gonna move on yeah but yeah no i made i made the big boo-boo and that's not good um let's see christy being good night and thank you thank you again night, for christy great right, christy <laughs> i'm gonna say two things it's 12 16 I normally don't put a stop when we don't have to, but I got somewhere to be tomorrow morning. That's and true. That's I true. Have, um, I have some decompressing to do before I'll be able to fall asleep. So I'm going to say to my friends, thank you for a wonderful Friday night. Um, I'm glad you gave Steve the chair. I mean, be a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Better pro.
presents on the Tuesday birthdays, whatever day of the week they fell. Aaron, <laughs> I love you singing as Elvis. I may, I may have that going through my head. <laughs> it was hot. It was hot. I love that Becky, not Becky. <laughs> Got turned on by Jamie from Outlander because I think he's hot too. And I love you all for, for staying with us on Friday nights and for hanging out. Yes. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Angie, for joining us. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us. See y'all. Good, good night, my lady and my sir. Is it <laughs> Master, my, my lady said? and my lord. <laughs> Master. I'm not calling him my lord. That's not happening. <laughs> not that's too creepy. Well, oh, that's what they use. <laughs> my lord. Good night, everybody. Oh, Thank God. you. Good night. See y'all. Wait for the green room. Bye, guys. Yep. <laughs> Bye, guys.